What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here in the first round. Sorry, I'm a little bit late to this one. It started right at the top of the hour, so good on you, Bellator. Good on you. Benson Henderson's wife in the red corner, in the white kit, on her back, getting her ass beat right now as Stiller's in the top position. What's going on, everybody? We do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and, of course, interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat here. And the live chat is absolutely buzzing. First and foremost, I want to say thank you. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Back him out right now. Stiller on top of Henderson. Thank you, Professor Chaos, for becoming an exclusive member here on the channel. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate the support. Back mount, Stiller. Full mount, Stiller on Henderson. Henderson trying to protect herself here, but two minutes and 40 seconds, and Stiller's just beating the piss out of her. Back mount, full mount, back mount again, shots to the right side. Doing the best she can to defend herself is Henderson, but Stiller just honestly doesn't even need to go for the rear naked choke right now. Rolling back and forth is Henderson Stiller dominating right now. Again, shout out to you, Professor Chaos. Thank you so much for the membership. Happy that you are a member. Two minutes on the clock here. Stiller is still on top of Henderson. Hammer fist from the top here. Emmett King, thank you so much for joining. Living with H Peak Master, two exclusive members here on the channel as well. Looking for the armbar now is Stiller. Looking for the armbar now, is Stiller. And then that is it. <laughs> Stiller taps out Henderson. Welcome to Bellator MMA indeed, making her pro debut and promotional debut was the 23-year-old Mackenzie Stiller. She was the underdog too, going into this fight against Maria Henderson. Wow. Unbelievable performance by the young woman there. Uh, what's up, Diego? What is up, Benjamin? How's it going, guys? Can't wait to watch fights today. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, anyone know what time Ryzen will have their MMA fights? Apology saying it starts in two hours. Give me one sec here. Uh, da, 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 da. uh it starts at one a.m. Eastern, buddy. Here, this is what uh, I'm, I'm just ordering mine from Fight TV, and here's the link for it in the chat. This did not go to round two. Good prediction. No worries, Grave Digger. I hope uh, I hope you're making some coffee, Grave Digger. We got a long night ahead of us. Crazy submission. Two a.m. CST. Mine says twelve a.m. CDT. Five hours or five hours and fifty-two minutes. Great win by the young American. I guess they're both American, but yeah, I mean Benson Henderson saying, you know, his wife prepping her to go on a run. I mean, doesn't look too good right now. But again, congratulations to the young Mackenzie Stiller. Let's take a look. Looks like she's had some. So four straight fights, four straight wins, I should say, on the amateur scene. Wow. Do, 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 do. Save the link. We both said that backwards. It's 2 a.m. Eastern. I'm drinking Monster Rehab. So I'm good. Yeah, I should have got some Red Bull or something. But you know what? Coffee will be fine. A little less sugar. Coffee's okay. Coffee's okay. Good. 
There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that little. Usually that happens midstream if it's going to happen at all. But uh, sorry about that little connection issue. We are back. We are back. But like I was saying, so much good MMA this weekend. So many great cards from PFL, Bellator, Ryzen, One Championship, LFA, and more. Game bread boxing as well. Are you kidding me? By the way, vote in the poll question. Yeah, frozen and back. I can see it. Like, it, like it starts and then, yeah, anyways. On my end, anyways, I'm notified when it. And it only happens like one, once every stream. So my apologies, guys. My apologies. Oh, what's up, Jelani? One of our other exclusive members as well. By the way, folks, Aaron Jeffrey, the seventh ranked middleweight fighter who knocked out Paige Van Zandt's husband, our boy Aaron Jeffrey. He's going to be on this channel soon, on the podcast soon. He's fighting tonight as well in the featured fight, so shout out to him. And if you guys haven't checked out the podcast yet, we've launched a podcast on this channel and on its own podcast feed, so you can find it on any podcast app, whatever podcast app you use, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, um, Spotify, the, all of them. It's there, the City Life Podcast. Uh, shout out to Hannah Rose, Miss MMA Casual, for joining us on our first episode. Full video of the podcast is on the channel of certain segment clips drop uh, throughout the weekend. And if you just want to listen to it via audio, the link is in the description of that video and commented as well. Another shout out. I have to say shout out to MMA Joey last night, literally at the end of his stream, he looked up MMA streams. It was like, I wonder if anyone else is streaming at like 1am right now. And he's like, BFL, what the heck is BFL and sent as you guys saw last night, some of his, uh, some of his subscribers, some of his supporters to the channel. So shout out to the to MMA Joey. Appreciate it. Um, all right. That was a quick first round submission. Now we move on, ladies and gentlemen, to the next fight on this card. Bryce Meredith against Brandon Carrillo. And again, the odds here are crazy. Bellator odds. I mean, I have seen Bellator fighters... Plus 800 win by TKO in the in 30 seconds. I'm not saying it's going to happen here. I'm not saying it's going to happen in this one, but I'm just, I'm just saying, folks. I'm just saying. The odds for Bellator are insane, are absolutely insane. Can we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, interaction here if you're new to the channel? What is up? Like and subscribe. Really excited to have you folks alongside for the ride. Okay, I'm going to quickly highlight these fighters and we'll get back to the comments because they're already being announced in the cage here. Bryce Meredith. 3-0 and in LFA, and that's it. He is 3-0 and in LFA. He's finished every single one of his fights. Ground and pound, knees and punches, and rear naked choke. Frank Trigg is the judge, or sorry, the referee here. That is awesome to see. Uh, his opponent, Brandon Lee Carrillo, 1-0 and as a pro. He's only fought in Gladiator Challenge, and he won in the first round via TKO. I'm going with... Bryce Meredith, I'm going with the minus 1100 favorite locking it in. Meredith in the red corner, Carrillo in the blue. Four minutes and 42 seconds on the clock, folks. Dun, 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 dun. I'm surprised more people care about this Bellator card than Game Bread. I mean, there's there's only a, a very small, so not even a hand. There's only a couple of fights on the Game Bread card that I really care about, to be perfectly honest. I'd rather watch a full card of Bellator and MMA. Meredith already on the back of Carrillo, looking for that rear naked choke. It's fifty dollars Canadian plus tax. That too. Uh, going for the wrestler says Jelena. Yeah, give me your predictions. Even though we are a minute into this fight, we'll still take some predictions here. Where's Shayna? Where's Shayna? Cage grab by Meredith there. Used it to not advance his position, but leverage his position on the back of Carrillo. He has the left hook in. Carrillo trying to shake him off. Meredith. Guards not it's around the mid torso of Krilla, so it's not too high yet, but Krilla doing a good job trying to shake him off. Uh Golm is Golm, the one in the main event. Golm got smashed by Sergey in the UFC.
<laughs> Pat Downey. <laughs> that guy was the last person to beat Gordon lost in a minute, 10 seconds. Sergey's a beast, a loss that aged well for him. Absolutely. Sergey Pavlovich. And Carrillo shook Meredith off him, but Meredith continuing to work his wrestling here. Has the hooks in again. Drop for a double leg. Doesn't get a good takedown defense by Carrillo. And right when I say that, Meredith pulls the legs back and Carrillo goes to the ground. Shots in the back by Carrillo. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in this first round. You can look at all the exclusive members here tonight. Professor Chaos, shout out to you. Jelani, Gravedigger Jones, Peak Master, Living with H. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back take again by Merida. Two minutes and 16 seconds left. Bro, if you ever need a moderator for a card, I'm free off work for a month. Dude, all right. I'm, I'm, we've never had a moder moderator yet. I'd be happy to make you a moderator. Um, yeah, well, we'll make that happen. We'll make that happen. One minute and 50 seconds left. Looking to flatten him out here. Punches to the side of the head of Carrillo. Meredith softening up Carrillo here. Whether he ends this fight via just continuing to punch or go bring the neck like he does here. He drops and rolls. Attacking the neck. Doesn't have it. One minute, 21 seconds. These two dudes have a similar tattoo. Meredith's leg and Carrillo's arm. Oh, and there we go. He gets... Oh, I thought he had that. That was a beautiful attack to the neck there, and I thought Meredith had it. One minute left here. Will Meredith end this fight in the last minute, folks? 56 seconds left here. Sauce to the side of the head again. Dominant round by Meredith. Wow. Hey, a prospect coming from LFA. Three wins in LFA. Some good hype, even though on the undercard here in Bellator is Meredith, and he's delivering right now. Minus 1,100 favorite is crazy for a fighter with three fights, not including Bo and Nickel. Yeah, well, that's why that's why I said, like, Bellator odds are insane. Like, they're absolutely insane. They don't make a lot of sense half the time. I mean, like, if it was plus 500, plus 600, or sorry, minus 500, minus, minus 600, that, that's one thing. It's like, okay, okay. But... And that is it for the first round. Frank motherfucking Trigg, ladies and gentlemen. I was such a Matt Hughes fan growing up, and uh, <laughs> I hated Frank Trigg. Now I love him. Such a beauty, such a beauty. I had the same thought when I looked at their odds and record. Again, this is nothing new to Bellator. We saw a plus 800 guy win via TKO in like 30 seconds in this one fight. The other guy had nothing for him. I and mean, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, how is this other guy, you know, whatever he was, minus close to a thousand as well? It makes no sense. You never seen Frank Chig fight, man? Early UFC days, like in the 20 to like 50 days of the numbered events. Yeah, there was one fight where he kicked Matt Hughes, or he, yeah, you need Matt Hughes in the balls. The ref didn't see it, and he, like, is about to finish Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes, being the absolute beast that he is, ends up escaping. I think the first time was a submission. Matt Hughes ends up picking him up, running across the cage, slamming him, and getting him into a submission himself. And then in their rematch, round two, ladies and gentlemen, get it all. Frank Trick kicks him in the balls again, and Matt Hughes still ends up finishing him. They just hated each other. What is up, Tom? Again, reminder, folks, first episode of the City Life podcast has dropped wherever you get your podcasts via audio form, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever, and or on this channel, you can find the video as well. 
Relentlessly going for takedown still is Meredith. Creel tried to stifle that takedown, threatening the neck there. Meredith a little banged up on the left side of his face. And Meredith, beautiful, beautiful transition to full mount here. And Carrillo is turning. Meredith gets his back again. I remember when he walked over with that huge slam. Trig was my favorite fighter back in those days. What is up, Lewis? What is up, Lewis? <laughs> Meredith has the hooks in in the back. Isn't this Bryce Meredith best mates with Bo Nickel? He could be. Did he wrestle at Penn State? Let's take a look. The guy's the guy can grapple. And back up to their feet, man. Relentless wrestling again by Meredith, and he gets right into that modified half guard side control. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So he wrestled in Wyoming. But, uh, I mean, he could be best mates with him. I don't know to answer, answer your question. Um, I thought maybe if he went to Penn State, he was on the same team as him. But 27 years old, Bryce Meredith. It's been freestyle wrestling since 2018. Yeah. Started his MMA career 2021. Yeah, Wyoming. Sorry, I missed your comment there, buddy. I'm going for the arm triangle choke. Two minutes and 38 seconds left. Carrillo attacking the body as Meredith doesn't have the squeeze sunk in just yet. Thoughts on Avril Lavigne, even though she's French-Canadian. I love every, almost everyone who's French-Canadian. She said she's a skater, boy. He said, see you later, boy. <laughs> or he was a skater, boy. She said, see you later, boy. Isn't that how it goes? Uh, wouldn't last a round with modern fighters. Frank Trigg? No, absolutely not. Rear naked choke. Rear naked choke. Two minutes. Rear naked choke, and they roll. Meredith with the back take. And this is under the this is under the chin. Bleeding out of the mouth and left eye is Carrillo and Carrillo taps. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, this kid is sick. He is sick. Incredible shape as well. Relentless with his wrestling. Now again, he took on a guy who was only 1-0. I get it, but still. Just flawless takedowns there. Flawless takedowns. Uh, is she... Yeah, I don't know if she's French. I think Bryce is Sean O'Malley's training partner. I just automatically look up Bryce Mitchell. Great finish. Again, four wins, four finishes in his pro MMA career. Three in LFA, now one in Bellator. He got that rear naked choke. Avril Levine 20 years ago, cute. Avril Levine today, <laughs> sad. Booyah! Odds makers were on point with that. Minus 1,100. What a domination. Crazy submission. Wow. Two-time NCAA champion, three-time All-American. Damn. Damn. Do, 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 do. I think he does train with O'Malley, you're right. He's just being announced as a winner in the center of the ring. You should ready to prank people tomorrow? Oh, no. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. We're staying up all night for Ryzen tonight, folks. I'm curious what modern day Avril Lavigne looks like. I'll have to look that up. Just like a little bit more frail, no? Other than that, pretty much the same. 
All right, time to throw Meredith to the Wolves and get him in the UFC. Look, she's dating a Tyrone. What's up, Mike Jones? What's going on, buddy? Mike Jones, Professor Chaos, back here as an exclusive member. Look at that. He has joined the family. We're fucking pumped. And I'm fucking pumped to see you here, Mike Jones. How's it going? How's it going? Bellator odds as crazy as ever, but the favorite did win the last one. Shane's not here. I should text Shane. I should text Shane. I'm going to tell Shane Bellator's on. Dun, 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 dun. Shit, even my roommate might watch some Bellator. I'm just texting Shane right now. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just telling Shane, we beer betting. We're two fights into Bellator. All right. Not the most stacked Bellator card, but two finishes in the first two fights. Can't complain. Can't complain. As far as, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to Aaron Jeffrey more than anyone. My Canadian brother. Let's go. Let's go. Excited for him to continue to rise. And I mean, shoot, if he gets a win here, he could get the title shot next, which would be awesome to see. Keep the comments coming, folks. This is a comment-driven live stream. As you know, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and most importantly, interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Like the video. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. Our last Bellator video got to 50 likes. I know we can get this one to 50 likes as well. Vote in the poll question. Let me know who you picked in the poll question as well. Dun, 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 dun. The Mike Jones is in the his house. One and one in predictions. Hey, we have a Canadian on the card here. Randy Field. Let's go, baby. Tornado and shit. So power has been on and off, but I will try to stay as much as I can. Yeah, there's a crazy storm going on right now uh, here in Minnesota as well that my power might go out. Uh, Cat and Zangu's story so freaking sad. I can't imagine being a widow. Oh yeah, it's it is it's super sad. She's an absolute warrior. I got a parlay with eleven fighters on it. What the fuck was I thinking? No way that shit hits. Tu ami la box. I'm trying to learn French. Je j'aime la boxing. Ben oui. Who you got in the Izzy rematch next week? I got Izzy. I got Izzy. Who do you got, buddy? Oliver Obey Mercier fighting Shane Burgos in two weeks. Burgos going up a weight class. Who do you guys have? Uh, I have La Canadienne. I think it's going to be an absolute war, though, but I think Obey Mercier is starting to, starting to fall in love with his hands a little bit. He actually has a little bit of power. And if he's just like, oh, yeah, Burgos, you're way too crazy for me on the feet. I mean, he can go back to his roots, which is the wrestling and the submissions. Um, all right, let me update. Belcher's going quick with their turnaround here. Randy Field here against Ashley Cummins. We'll do a quick little highlight here of the fighters. Round one, Let's ladies and gentlemen. Off. I'll commentate as we go, but I'll quickly highlight them here, and I'll get back to your comments here in a sec. Uh, Randy Field, the Canadian, 3-1 and one in her pro MMA career. She's 32 years old out of Windsor, Ontario. She is 4-1 and one in her last five fights, including amateur fights. Like I said, 3-1 and one as a pro. Rose City Phoenix is her nickname. Her nickname is bigger than her actual name. One and one in Bellator. She's coming off a win where she won via rear naked choke in the second round. Her opponents, uh, Ashley Smashley Cummins, four and six in Invicta, one and zero oh in Bellator. She's on a two fight losing streak right now in Invicta. Looking to try her luck back in Bellator here against Field. Field is the underdog plus 135, a seven and six record for Ashley Cummins. I'm going with the Canadian, the underdog, Randy Field. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, shit, I'm missing comments here. Three minutes and 53 seconds on the clock here. Uh, what's up, boys? Lock me in for that Canadian. I love the box. 
Uh, I got the Canadian too. And Mike Jones, thank you so much for the super sticker. Mike Jones, thank you so much for the $1 super sticker, my man. I appreciate it. Three minutes and 33 seconds in this first round. I'm just jumping on YouTube right now to check out what this super sticker is. Mike Jones, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. This video, folks, we're trying to get the video to 50 likes. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. Cat? I haven't seen the cat super sticker before. I like it. I like it. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. Appreciate it, sir. Three minutes on the clock here. And a one-two by field. I mean, both these women doesn't look like either of them want to take this to the mat yet. Cummins with some good left counters here, but that straight left jab by field seems to be landing. Field in the red corner. Cummins in the blue. First bet of the night, Ashley Cummins minus 156, one unit. Dang, there's a small room there in, barely bigger than the apex. Uh, did Bryce win? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm going on field on decision. Too tough to call. Two minutes and 25 seconds left here, folks. And again, neither of them looking to take this to the ground yet. Both of them looking pretty good with their counter striking as well. Only female in my parlay is a cat. I don't trust those. <laughs> Cats and Ghani. Let's go, baby. That's awesome. I should have put two and two together. Izzy KOs him within two. Lewis. Lewis. Our, our boy JL. I don't know if he's in the chat yet, but he, he'll love you, brother. He will love you. And Cummins with the takedown here. But a really good guard by Field. Field's already trapped the neck of Cummins, pulling it down, and was locking her in a f her full guard. But Cummins, or Field, rather, from the back. She's working here. She's working to get out of this. And look at that. Working her way on, almost on her feet there. Controlling the neck. Field with some nice shots from the back here. Field looks calm, cool, collected from her back, where Cummins is not laying down any, if at all, Ground and pound. None. Zero. Just looking to keep this position in the top field way more active from her back here. I'm American, but I don't trust Ashley Cummins. I could be wrong. Uh, that's a black cat, bro. It means bad luck coming to my parlay. Only if it's crossed your path. Only, only if it's crossed your path. At this point, it's only crossed my path. So, uh, See how big Sean Strickland is? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got a little bit of a belly. Uh, I picked Pam, and now I'm nervous. Uh, is he retirement party next week? I don't think he retires, guys. I don't think he retires. Now, I get that he's cleaned out the division, but like, I don't think he retires. He's got a couple big, a couple like bigger fights than this left, I think. 18 seconds left in the first. You know, Cummins has done a little bit more damage in the last like 40 seconds of this first round, but didn't really do much from the top. That is it for the first round. UFC can be unpredictable. Yes, it can. All MMA, all combat sports, to be perfectly honest. Puncher's chance. Puncher's chance. All right. Who do you guys think won that first round? I mean, Cummins, yeah, got a takedown. She didn't do much with it. I saw the movie fall today. It was definitely different than I expected. I don't even think I saw the preview for it. 10-9 Cummins, says Professor Chaos. All right, second round is coming up here, folks. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. We do Fight Companions every single weekend, live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. Check out the MMA podcast that we dropped earlier today, folks, after this stream. About the same quality as 50 meters below. 
Round two. Let's get it all. It was pretty even on the feet before the takedown. Indeed, indeed. One, two, and a kick by Field. Cummins looking to catch that kick, though. Field delivered a knee before they broke here back in the center of the cage. Four minutes and 35 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, the movie reviewer here, City of Sunrise, saw John Wick 4. How was that? I like how Bellator has their champion lit up on the wall. Yeah, that is cool. I mean, there's some things I like about Bellator. And there's some things I don't. It's come such a long way, though. I think Fields does squats every now and again. Or think Fields does squats every now and then? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a nice counter right. Start in the bottom. Now we're here. That's what the uh, announcer just said. Three minutes and 38 seconds. A nice right hand by Field. Field's finding her target more than Cummins is right now. Ooh, and a beautiful left hand by Field. Right on the nose of Cummins. Cummins' nose is busted up here. A little bit of swelling under her right eye. Come on, Canada. Come on, Canada. We had good, such good luck last night. Canada versus the world. Let's go. Come on, Field. Let's go. Let's go. Three minutes and six seconds on the clock. Windsor, yes, it is close to Detroit. Ontario, very close to um, Michigan and Minnesota. Outside low kick by Field. Field's definitely winning the second round on the feet. Cummins is not really bouncing. Good right counter body shot by Field. Uh, have you been to Detroit? How dangerous was it? I have not been to Detroit. I have family who live there, and they said it's it's a lot better now than it was 10 years ago, but there's just still parts of town that you just don't go to. Cummins looks a lot like the happy warrior. Does she? I don't think she does. I mean, her she wears baggy fight kit. <laughs> One minute and 45 seconds left in this second round. Double left jab by Fields. Body shot by Fields. Dude, Fields is landing way better strikes and more strikes in this second round. And good combos too. Hooks to the body. Jabs. I mean, there it is again. That, that left jab followed by a right to the body. Not the face, uh, just the outfit and the way she moves. Yeah, no, for sure. Except it doesn't look like she even has jujitsu. At least the Happy Warrior had a good ground game. Not so much on the feet. I was a fan of how quirky she was, though. Moxan, um, Roxanne Modafferi. Straight left. She went through the Ultimate Fighter twice as well, much like our friend Jesse Taylor last night. Thirty-three seconds left in the second round. It's crazy. Cummins isn't shooting. She's one for one on the takedown. She had yeah. Well, she had uh, yeah. I guess she didn't go for one in this round. I thought maybe there was one that was stuffed. It doesn't look like her leg is that swollen yet. Like I know feel has been throwing a lot of leg kicks, but it doesn't look like she's like immobilized that leg or anything that, that lead left leg. People say Detroit is dangerous because some places are abandoned. 
Yeah, Detroit has some pretty gnarly areas. All right, end of the second round here, folks. Way more of a dominant round by field. Plus 250 on the live line for Cummins. It's interesting in a 1-1 a fight. Well, definitely people who are betting on this one don't expect Cummins to take her down in the third. I think that's what it is. Because if this stays on the feet, the Canadien is winning this one. All right, third and final round. Coming up next here, folks. This just in. Michael Johnson has uh, re-signed with the UFC and looking for a new five fight contract. I know. And whoever reported that was a spinning back fist. They wrote it resigned, not re-signed. And I remember I'm like, guys, you, you got, is it re-sign or is it resign? But no, yes, he did re-sign. All right. Round three, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it all. But yes. Michael Johnson re, re upping in the UFC. He ain't going anywhere. She may be able to wrestle this round. Hopefully. Man, I miss Matthew Stafford when he was with Detroit, but he won a Super Bowl in L.A. Half units. Yeah, the Detroit Lions. They were actually a, f a fun team to watch this year. Not as bad as in years past. Again, not a big NFL guy, but I'm in America now, so it's always on. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here. Left hand by field. All right, let's see if Cummins will win our boy Professor Chaos some money and try to take this to the ground. Because if Cummins can get the takedown and stay in the top position, she'll win the, she'll win the fight because she'll win that, that third round, much like she won that first round. But field, dominant second round, out striking Cummins. Landing the better combos here. Neutralizing Cummins takedowns. And the straight left jab by field landing all day, every day. Does a good job of following it up with the right body shot too. However, she does that, she's done that a lot. So I'm, I'm wondering why Cummins isn't countering or hasn't read that yet. They have their moments here and there. Jared Goff had been looking good with the Lions. I expect him to have a good season next year. She needs to attack that single leg. Absolutely. Three minutes and five seconds left in this third and final round. Inside low kick, outside low kick. Straight left jab again. Field tried to set up a right uppercut that didn't land. You said you used to watch Sinai and Happiness. I didn't watch it. I read it. I never uh, saw the show, but I read like a lot of the, uh, if not all of the, the comic strips. And But yes, I'm very familiar. But I, maybe I watched like a couple of the cartoons, but for the most part, I read it. It's awesome. Actually, you know, I did watch, I watched, uh, you know, I read more of them again, but I did I did used to just look a lot of them up on YouTube or E-Bombs World back back in the day. And yeah, I, I have watched my my fair share of them for sure. Cummins is swinging at air right now. Oh, here we go. Going for the takedown. Going for the takedown is Cummins, and she gets it. She gets the takedown. One minute and 58 seconds. Is it enough? Is it enough? Can she do enough with this takedown here? Field going for an arm bar, maybe? More shots from the bottom. Field just landed more shots from the bottom than Cummins even did from the top there. They separate and Field is looking for the up kick and Cummins puts the pressure back on Field. Keeps her on her back. Up kick attempt by Field making it hard for Cummins to do anything again from the top position as Cummins is back to her feet. Now they're both back to their feet. Great job by the Canadian Good night, Jim Kite Cummins. You are losing this fight, and 
Field walking forward, lending a good left hand. Cummins is gassed, man. Or should I say woman? Do you ever see or read the man you could sit anywhere where everything he sat on was super comfy? I think I have. I think I have. I'm looking it up. 44 seconds left. Straight left jab. Oh my God, I have seen this one. <laughs> 16 seconds left. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I hope the Bruins win. And Field looking to maybe get a thrower, a trip takedown, and that is it for the third round. I have the most comfortable ass in the world. <laughs> I'm just, I have it playing on my screen right now. It's hilarious. Yes, I remember this one. Field is the man who could sit anywhere but in real life. <laughs> yeah, she's giving uh, Tabitha Ricci a run for her money. In all due respect. And I think that's like a compliment. It means you're in damn good shape. 29-28 Field is Sal Diamato working. I mean, this is California. This is California, so... The code to be the the officiating is going to be oh, fucked. All right, official decision coming up here. Randy Field, Ashley Cummins. No, no one gives Baby Shark a run for money. Yeah, she's so gorgeous. So freaking gorgeous. All right. Here we go. Official decision. We're listening in. One judge had a 30-27. The other two, 29-28. Yes, we go, the Rose City Phoenix. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Randy freaking Field. Randy Field. Oh, Canada, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Canada, baby. Randy Field, four and one in her pro MMA career. She's now on a two-fight win streak. Let's go, baby. Great win. Great fight. Let's go, baby. Connor Bedard to the Sharks. I'm crossing my fingers on it. Yeah, I've been saying that all year. All year on the soda pod, I was like, I have a feeling he's going to the Sharks. I have a feeling he's going to the Sharks, and what a great player to go to that franchise. Good judging, down one unit pre-fight, down half a unit live. Sorry you're down, Professor Chaos, but I know you'll you'll get back into the winning column. I'm just pumped because the Canadian won. Let's go, baby. Man, where's Shane at? Where's Shane at? I hope he's okay. All right. We will update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here and the graphic on the screen is we're we're rolling right on through these prelims, folks. It's awesome. We're not even an hour in and we already are through three fights. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. All right. 
All right, updating the t t t the graphic on the screen here. We'll actually have some time to quickly highlight these fighters. Mike Hamill versus Nick Brown. Brownie? Brown Brownie? Um, boom, 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 boom. Oh, never mind. We're going with a different uh, belt order has changed. We're going Lance Gibson Jr. against Vladimir Tokov in this one, folks. This next one, folks. So, come on, Bellator, get it together. Uh, da, 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 da. Lightweight fighters here, Lance Gibson Jr. against Vladimir Tokov. They're already in the cage, so give me a sec here. Boom, 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 boom. We'll highlight the fighters. I'll give my prediction, then I want to hear yours. All right, fighting out of the blue corner. We have Vladimir Tokov, 7-2 and two in his pro MMA career. He's 3-2 and two in Bellator, coming off a loss, a split decision loss to J.J. Wilson, who was 8-1 and one when he fought him um, in October of 2022. Uh, pretty much all, all his, I mean, his, his last finish came back in 2018. His three wins between 2018 and now have all been unanimous decisions. Looking at his opponent, out of Canada, out of Canada, baby. Let's go. Oh, freaking Canada. Let's go, baby. Lance Gibson Jr., 7-0 and oh in his pro MMA craze, 5-0 and oh in Bellator. Won his last fight, triangle choke. Before then, decision. Before then, TKO in the second round. Before then, unanimous decision. He fought in Primus and Mamba before Bellator, and he was 3-0 and oh on the amateur scene. I'm going with the favorite. I am going with Lance Gibson. Or Lance Gibson Jr. is the underdog. Okay, I'm going with the underdog, the undefeated Lance Gibson Jr. Locking it in. Let me know who you are picking, folks, in the live chat. I am going with the Canadian. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Interesting fight. Great decision. Fuck, that fight sucked. But the Canadian won. Let's go, baby. Another Canadian. Prelims are rolling fast. Miles, what's going on, Miles? Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to do a vlog of me exploring Nineveh in December 2025, maybe, but going to be cold. Why 2025? I'm predicting Tok uh, Tokov uh, being a Russian no bet cheering for Gibson. I got Lance. And Tokov just knocked out Lance Gibson Jr. Just like that. Oh, it. It he just dropped him. He just dropped him and it was over. He dropped him. He is out cold. It is over. Oh my goodness. I literally look at the comments. I look back and boom, he gets cranked. All right, taking a look at this right now. Tokov was going for the takedown. Lance pushes off of him. Tokov lands it right. Tokov, or sorry, Lance goes for a left body kick and Tokov lands a clean right hand. So right hand to the chin, Tokov, or sorry, clean left hand, I should say. So Tokov landed a right hand. Lance goes for a body kick and a straight left countering the body kick and Lance suffers his first ever loss in pro mixed martial arts, his first ever loss in in Bellator. Wow. Overrated, but he's got power. He's got power. Undefeated Jacqueline Emerim from LFA is making her UFC debut in a week. Yes. Yes. We uh she headlined uh an, I think the first LFA event that uh, that we did on this channel. Damn it 2-2. Two, two. What the fuck? Yeah, my prediction. Oh, he's fighting out of the Fedor camp. You should got to post your reaction on to uh, Tokov. What the fuck was that? Damn, he has no idea where he is. Lance Gibson Jr. does not even remember being knocked out. 
He's like, no, no. And they're like, it's over, buddy. And he's like, what? Man. Wow. What a finish by Vladimir Tokov. What was that? That wasn't even a minute into the fight. That wasn't even a minute into the fight. Wow, Vladimir Tokov. One minute, one minute and zero and uh, two seconds. One minute and two seconds into that fight. Wow. And just like that, we continue to roll on, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. My goodness. Good start to the prelims right now, folks, here at Bellator 293. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We have Kyle's new music album dropping tomorrow, his solo album, folks. Links to that in the description of this video on the community page, in the description of every video that we've been posting the last few days. Please go show Kyle some love. Please download his new album. We're going to have a lot of more a lot more MMA content drop in the next few days, ladies and gentlemen. Clips from the member stream, clips from my interview with Hannah Rose on the City Life podcast. Like and subscribe for more MMA content and more content from Kyle and myself. First KO for Tokov since 2016. That was impressive. You're saying why 2025? Because I want to focus on building my channel, even though I hit 50 subs. So, yeah, I guess 2025 is a good goal. I've actually never been to none of it yet. I've been to a lot of places in Canada. I haven't gone that far north. All right. So, I don't actually even know what the next fight is because the Beltor bout order changed. It's either going to be. Now I don't know because we skipped like a few. So I'm guessing it's going to be one of these two next. Let's see here as we're back in the broadcast. Again, shout out to everyone who's joining. Like the video. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video today. Let's get to 50 likes. We got to 50 likes on our last Bellator stream. I know we can get to them on this one. And the first fighter's already in the cage. Yeah, with a jab. Well, I mean, it was a straight left. It wasn't just like a, a little pop jab there, but still. Josh Thompson forgot to shave today, folks, as did I. Okay, just tell me what the next fight is, guys. They're just showing a little preview of the middleweight fight we were talking about earlier. Aaron Jeffrey against John Salter. I know Aaron Jeffrey had a, not, not like a bad week, not a taxing week, but it was, I mean, it was tough cutting weight. He was pretty vocal about it on Twitter, but he made weight fine. He looks like he's in great shape. Can't wait to see him fight here tonight. How good is your, I don't know any Italian. So Lucas uh, Brennan against John San Diego is next year, folks. Lucas Brennan is actually the tenth ranked uh, fighter in the 145 division. All right, let's do a quick highlight here as they're being announced in the center of the ring. Yeah, I don't know any Italian, buddy. Man, these are the fastest prelims ever. Let's go, baby. That's what I like. This is quicker than yesterday's BFL turnaround, which, again, no complaints. No complaints. Okay, just updating the ticker, and then I'm going to highlight the fighters quickly here, folks. All right. I'll get back to the comments, so keep them coming. Quite a bit Cana quite a few Canadians on this card. Didn't even realize today, which is awesome. All right, Lucas Brennan, 7 and 0. Oh, he is the huge favorite. He is the 10th ranked 145er out of he's 22 years old, like I said, out of Texas, 7 and 0 oh in his pro MMA career and 7 and 0 oh in Bellator. He went 3 and 0 oh on the amateur scene. Looking at his opponent, Josh San Diego, the zookeeper. Okay. Four and one in Bellator, two and one in Dragon House, one and two in Tachi Palace fights. 
He is on a two fight win streak, both in Bellator right now. Beat a five and one fighter and a six and three fighter in both of his fights. Round one. Let's get it on. I'm going with the favorite, the huge favorite in the young prodigy, Lucas Brennan, locking it in. Brennan is Gravedigger Jones pick. And Tom's as well. Oh, a nice straight left hand by San Diego. Now going for the single leg is Brennan. Brennan pushing San Diego up against the fence here. Brennan looking for the trip takedown. Almost gets it, but great takedown defense by San Diego. Oh, my stream just froze. Come on, YouTube, get it together here. Get it together. All right, three minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. Got the right hook in. Looking for the rear naked. Oh, he's got the body triangle, and then he's backpack right now in San Diego. I do speak Italian fluently, like ciao, come sta. We're going to have an Italian-Canadian fighter on the channel soon, John DeBella from One Championship. We're going to be interviewing him here soon. Now attacking the neck is Brennan. He's got a lot of time to work here. Three minutes and three seconds left on the clock here. Fighting for, or does he have it? Does Brennan have it? Is it under the chin? Yes, it's under the neck here. It is under the neck. And San Diego taps. San Diego taps. San Diego taps. Boom. He is 22 years of age. He gets his sixth first round submission. His eighth win in professional mixed martial arts. Damn, son. Damn. Three, two, and Gravedigger Jones predictions. Interesting. Does he speak Italian fluently? Oh yeah, yes he does. Submission again. Damn. Yeah, dude, this Bellator card is just rolling, dude. It's just rolling. We are one hour and five minutes into this card, and we've already just watched five fights. Only one of them went to the judges' scorecards. That went quick. Hey, I'm watching the Raptors halftime though. Raptors two and thirteen from three. Shane, out of five fights, and we've just watched we've watched five fights in one hour. I'm gonna say that again. Five fights in one hour, dude. Four of them. Two knockdown or two was it two TKOs, two submissions? One TKO, three or three submissions, one unanimous decision. Shit's crazy, man. Shit's crazy. Good to see you, Shane, one of our exclusive members here. I thought San Diego put up a good effort on the takedown defense, but Brennan was uh, was in beast mode. Wow. I mean, yeah, you can tell. Uh, Josh San Diego, definitely a, a veteran here. Like, he, he didn't look like he was manhandled until Brennan got on his back. 22 years old, man. See, how many cans has he crushed on his way up? Um, but, 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 I mean, not too bad. His first two opponents, yeah, one guy one and four, zero and two, but then a three and one, and a six and four, four and three, five and four, four and two, and Johnny Soto. I, not the best competition. Can't wait to see him fight like a big dog and another big prospect or... or a legit well now that he's like higher in the he, he will be a little bit higher in the rankings i imagine he's 10th ranked 
Damn, this card just keeps rolling along, ladies and gentlemen, rolling along. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications and like this video, folks. Subscribe to the channel, but like this video. We are trying to get this to 50 likes. We do live fight companions every single weekend. We got Ryzen later tonight as well. Cannot wait for that. Shane's one of Shane's favorite fighters that he forgot about when we were watching Cage Fury in the summer. He's going to be on the Ryzen card. I thought Brennan would wear him out and sub him in round three, but I was wrong. Shane's saying, I went to McDonald's for a $3 Big Mac today. The app worked before and after I went there, but not while I was there. So I had to get a McDouble. That is devastating, Shane. That is devastating. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. I'm sorry to hear that. Goddamn app. Do you not have data? Is that why? Didn't work while you were there? That's annoying as hell. 15 fights on this card. I like the pace. Isn't it awesome when uh, it's not on like a TV broadcast, right? Isn't it nice when it's not on a TV broadcast? <clears throat> ESPN. We don't have to wait friggin' up to 40 minutes between fights. What was the one that, oh my God, top rank boxing. That was, the, look, I'm, we'll, we'll probably do more top rank boxing because it's ESPN. So most of us can watch it. But my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. 42 minutes was the longest buffer between fights. I was like, you shouldn't be just top rank boxing. Like, you, you really want more eyes on the show? Let's let's, let's go, baby. Uh, tomorrow, I'm uploading another reaction. UFC worst decisions by the judge. Oh, I'm excited to see that. What are some of your guys' uh, memorable fights with terrible judging? Let me know in the live chat. There was someone I, post, I posted my... Um, Joe Rogan, George St. Pierre, Jorge Masvidal video last week. And there was a guy in the chat who was getting all fired up. How could you say that George St. Pierre lost that fight to Johnny Hendricks? How could you say that? Uh, they have Wi-Fi at McDonald's. I had internet. It just wasn't showing the deals. I've probably gone there at least 15 times this season. And it worked. God damn it, Shane. God damn it. You should have just turned off the Wi-Fi and gone use some of your data just for the deal. Sacrifice some of the data for deal. At least you got a McDouble, though. I still haven't had um, McDonald's in the States. Fight in boxing starting so late is really annoying. All right, next fight here, ladies and gentlemen, we have Joey Davis against Jeff Creighton. Jazzy Jeff Creighton. What a name. What a name. Uh, here we go. Joey Davis. Notre Dame, a wrestler here. 8-0 in his pro MMA career. He's the huge favorite. Minus 1,600 huge favorite up against the 6-2-1 Jazzy Jeff Creighton. Let's do a quick highlight of both of these fighters, folks, and then we will get to my prediction. Dun, 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 give me one sec. I'll also highlight the ticker on the bottom of the screen. We got welterweights here next, folks. It'll be a quick rundown. Man, Bellator moves things quick, and I like it. No complaints, no complaints. Keep the comments coming, folks. Let me know your predictions as well. Uh, Joey Davis, 8-0 and o in his pro MMA career. Like I said, out of Compton, California. He's 29 years of age. Minus 1,600. Huge favorite. 8-0 in Bellator. His last wins were to Bobby Levy, unanimous decision. Ground and pound against uh, Chris... Cineros in the first round. Flying knee to Jeff Peterson. I mean, this guy... Uh, two unanimous decisions. And the rest... TKOs in his last seven fights. Um, looking at his opponent. Jeff Creighton. 6-2-1 and one in his pro MMA career. He's on a two-fight win streak. Fury, FC, and Stellar fight. His last loss was in Cage Warriors when he was four and one. He was on a three fight win streak before that. And Fighter who can upset 
If there's anyone who is going to beat, like I was saying, sorry, sorry for the little internet gap there. If there's anyone who's going to beat Davis, it could be Creighton with the experience he has, but Davis takes him to the ground. Again, my apologies for the freeze there, folks. We are in the first round here. Four minutes and 12 seconds on the clock here. Great takedown by Davies. A hundred and thirty three and O for Davis in NCAA wrestling. Oh my goodness. Uh what the weather in Minnesota tomorrow? Uh it's supposed to rain, I think. I had internet, so that wasn't the issue. Also, I have a data block on my phone, so I can't use data. Well, goddamn Shane Mc McDonald still should have just given you the deal since the deal was working earlier and they know the deals that they got there at McDonald's. I would have made a scene. Side control here. Davies pinning Creighton up against the cage. Three minutes and 10 seconds left in this first round. Uh, I didn't go. I worked. I was I was a stubborn motherfucker. My date didn't want to go with me, so I picked up a shift instead and just went to the after party. So I was a Debbie Downer. Uh enjoy your prom, buddy. Don't skip it to go work like I did. Two minutes and thirty eight seconds left. You can Joey Davis. Utilizing his wrestling here. Surprise, surprise. But Creighton actively working on his defense here to try to get back up to his feet. Just can't get his legs free. And that's what Davis is looking just to grab and pull back. Creighton doing a good job of keeping his butt up against the cage. Well, Creighton's a team quest guy with Dan Henderson. And Davis is with Antonio McKee. <laughs> I know, City of Sunrise, I know. Francesca, she already had a date, so I was like, meh. <laughs> Ooh, almost with the reversal there was Creighton. Davis, still just a rel relentless pressure. Davis isn't doing anything here, though. I mean, if the official, I guess Creighton's being more active and trying to get back up to his feet, but if Davis was just laying on him there, I mean, Frank Trigg keeping an eye on it here. Guido Canetti apparently got cut from the UFC. Oh, really? One minute and five seconds left in this first round. Do, 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 do. Was like Roster Watch posted that Benjamin on Twitter? I'm looking at news on Google and it doesn't say anything yet. Relentless pressure again. 45 seconds left in this first round by Davies. You should please say how much time remaining. Trying to figure out how many seconds I'm behind for live bet. 27 seconds left in this first round, buddy. Raptors are shitting the bed against my least favorite team. God damn. God damn. Well, even in that case, Shane, I'd probably root for the Raptors with you. Who are they playing again? Was this when you were in Vancouver? I was never in Vancouver. Uh, when I was in on Vancouver Island in Nanaimo. He's, he's up there in age. I saw on roster watch. End of the first round here, folks. Um, do, 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 do. It said remove for retirement. So I think he's retiring.
Dan Henderson in the corner. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. So yeah, I think he's going to retire. I'm 12 seconds behind. Thank you. No problem, buddy. No problem. I was looking forward to a Big Mac and a good basketball game, but I got a McDouble instead, and the Raptors are down by 20 to the fucking Sixers. Emotional. Damage. Well, Shane, we'll crack a beer together and watch some MMA, and hopefully that brings a smile back on your face. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Wow, a round to actually go, or a fight that actually goes in the second round here, folks. We've been spoiled on this card. It's hard to get any girlfriend. That's why I decided to stay single and wait for college. Like I said, I was stubborn, buddy. Go and enjoy your prom. I was just stubborn because the, the girl I had a crush on in high school already had a date. And I was like, well, I don't want to go on anyone else. There's no one as cute as Francesca. <laughs> Instead, I worked. I usually ahead when you do your streams, but I guess it's UFC or other promotions. Yeah, and YouTube is just kind of weird. Some people's YouTube is like ahead a couple seconds. Or a few seconds, some are behind. Four minutes left here in the second round, ladies and gentlemen. We are one minute in, and Davis actually looking pretty good on his feet here as Creighton meets him in the middle of the cage. Philadelphia, baby. Philadelphia. Three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here. Oh, and Creighton walked right into that one. Creighton walked right into this. It's almost like he shuffled in with those shots there, and Davies takes him right to the ground. What can Davies do with this takedown, though? Can he get to the back? Can he drag him off the cage? Creighton, ass on the ground, back to the cage here. Davis has a grip knee uh, to the left knee of Creighton and then his other arm around his lower torso. Yo, 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 what's up, Habib? What's going on, brother? Two minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock. Davis wants to be the next big star, says the broadcaster. You got to do something then, brother. I know that you're a wrestler and a decorated wrestler in that 180, what did it say, 188 and 0 in the NCAA. But even Creighton's going like this to his uh, to his corner. He's like, I don't know what to do. This guy's just laying on me right now. Come on, Trig, stand him up. I believe it is in the time zone of why you guys are really behind on the stream. I wonder what's next to the uh, the Dawkins brothers. Yeah, they they both aren't very good. Philly boys, right? I I disagree, brother. I disagree. It is awesome that this weekend has so many other great promotions. We had BFL on Thursday, one championship this morning. Bellator, LFA, Gamebred, PFL. I miss there's a few others too that I'm missing. It is an awesome weekend for mixed martial arts. And finally, Frank Trigg is standing them up. One minute and 30 seconds left. I can't wait for the season opener of PFL tomorrow. Rising tonight, dude. Habib, we got fucking rising this weekend, and you're and you're saying it sucks that there's no UFC? Get out of here, buddy. Come on. If anything, this weekend's more exciting since there isn't UFC because all the other promotions are kind of like, all right, we're filling the void, and it's awesome. Yeah, but Prayer vs. Adesanya isn't this weekend. It's next weekend. No, I, I mean, get it. You're, you're more of a UFC guy. I'm more of just an all-mixed martial arts guy, so I get it. I get it. Um, it's good to have a break, though, Every every, especially for someone who streams every weekend. It's good to have a break from the UFC. Not that I'm having a break of streaming, but it's good to change it up. It's good to change it up. I'm not as sad as some people. 
I'm just as invested these days in all these other promotions than the UFC, so. I'm more sad that Glory's not for another three, four weeks. Oh, and the, despite going for the takedown there, Davies, Creighton spun around and got some elbows to the head of Davies the final 10 seconds of this second round. And that is it for the second round. Again, Davies didn't do much with the takedowns. I mean, yeah, control time galore, but man, this guy wants to be the next big thing. You got to do something with those takedowns. You got to advance position. You got to work in some submission attempts. Yeah, there we go. His coach is telling him to his corner. Dominate and punch more. Do something to show the judges that this is your fight here. Joe Daddy Stevenson and Dan Henderson in this corner. Let's go, Creighton. Let's go. Joe Daddy Stevenson. Let's finish this motherfucker. Let's go. I love Joe Daddy. Uh, this Davis guy's not making any fans tonight. Oh, I, I say one championship, personally. Hernan, you're the man. You're the man, Hernan. Yeah, I think one championship is a better promotion, for sure. I think it's deeper on the MMA side, and it's way more entertaining. Creighton coming in quick with a, a one, two, and stuffing the takedown of Davies. What do you think, Habib? What do you like more? It's good to see you again, Hernan. Going for the takedown again was Davies and Creighton stuffing it. Creighton, though, back up against the cage. Great two stuffings of those takedowns by Creighton. Thomas has won championship, no question. Exactly that. I tend to agree. Booing now. The crowd booing Davis now. Davis looking for a slam takedown, and he gets the takedown. One and Rising are newer to me, but the other promotions like Belter and PFL have been watching and betting a long time. Well, one is actually one has been around longer than the PFL. One has been around since what 2013, I believe. Maybe even 2011. Dude, Ben Askren was a champion in one championship. That's how old this shit is. I'm really impressed with the product with both One and Ryzen. Ryzen is a little bit newer because before Ryzen, it was what, Dream? After, after Pride, wasn't it Dream and then Ryzen? There was one in between. Hard decision, says Khabib. When was one championship founded? Let's do a little Google on the fly. Three minutes and 28 seconds left on the clock here. Third and final round. Davis hugging his opponent. 2011, July 14, 2011. When I graduated high school, that's when one championship was founded. Yeah, Dream, which was still yakuza it up. And then Ryzen. Mike Jones like, laugh my ass off. This guy was a huge dog. Yeah. Crazy. And he actually looked pretty good against a guy who's only wrestling. Khabib saying Bellator is better than one. Hey, we all respect your opinion. I think the most of the chat disagrees, but that's okay. That's okay. Again, if you don't care about Muay Thai or kickboxing at all, then then sure. I can totally understand. Although Bellator has done kickboxing before too. You're so right about one being this old. I guess it's a question of the time they air their fights. Maybe some lack of marketing. For sure. They didn't really get into the North American market until, shoot, I would say the last three years. Let's be honest, until Johnson left to them. Because no one really cared when Brandon Vera left. No one really cared when Alvarez left. Ong Long, I mean, sure. Uh, 2011, the year I started watching sports. Zero damage from the wrestler. Yeah, he hasn't thrown hardly any punches. And here's some knees from Davis. Or sorry, knees from Creighton. Davis dropping for the takedown again and doesn't get it. Davis was throwing some undercooks. Davis throwing some knees. One minute and 41 seconds here. Davis with an uppercut. 
Or sorry, Creighton with an uppercut. Creighton is the one throwing shots here, folks, as Davis is desperately trying to go for a takedown again. Creighton is actually trying to win this fight. Bellator is higher level overall, but they don't tend to deliver with their product. Their cards are usually hit and miss. I think it's just very, very top heavy. I think there's less depth in Bellator than there is in one championship. And I think obviously UFC is the most depth because they have the biggest roster and better promotion. And their name holds better for wanting to sign guys at the same price as like a one or Bellator, for example. Bellator, but yeah. Trig seriously just shrugged at Creighton. <laughs> he's like, I know, man. He's, he's a wrestler. What do you want me to do? So glad I left this fight alone. LFA puts up better cards than Bellator, but less talented. Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah, the, the matchmakers in Bellator aren't the great. I guess we can say that. Davis should lose if he wins. This shit is rigged. I mean, I could put it this way. Like, I don't like that he's going to win, but we all know he's going to win. We all know he's going to win. Because even though Creighton has 100% outlanded him in significant strikes, Davis isn't going to show any damage. Oh, and a little pushing and shoving at the end of this third and final round. The audience boos. Creighton's pissed. He's pissed because this guy just laid on him for three rounds. It's a fight, not a match, and that's why Creighton's disappointed here. And he's pissed. Creighton's pissed. No, but you said it, Professor Chaos. Eris, LFA, and Cage Warriors put on tremendous shows for being promotions lower than that of, of Bellator. I think Bellator's matchmaking has a lot to do with it. One championship, it's just always exciting with their rule set, with their incentives, with the Muay Thai, with the kickboxing, with just the different types of martial arts. And PFL world, there's just such a crazy stake. It's like I have to win in the best fashion possible to get the best seating for the tournament for that one milli baby. Whereas Bellator is just kind of, it is what it is. You could have good talent because they do have a good roster. But I mean, some of these matchmaking uh, decisions here. Only 11 strikes landed. Only 11 strikes landed. Jeff Creighton better fucking get this. 60 strikes landed for Creighton. 23 punches, 27 elbows, and only and seven takedowns for Joey Davis, but he didn't do anything with them. You know what, Mike Jones? You were right. Davis should lose. He should lose. 60 strikes to 11. I thought it was going to be a little bit less. 60 strikes to 11? I'm sorry. He better win. Creighton better win this one. Bruiser's Canuck was the first Stanley Cup I ever watched. I didn't cheer on any team. Dude, I was in downtown Vancouver. I had to escape downtown Vancouver because everyone started rioting after that. One championship was fun and crazy to watch crazy knockouts. Yeah, I haven't caught up today on today's one. I just saw some of the highlights. 11 strikes, dude. What a joke. Uh, Nate the Train versus Dan Ige targeted for UFC 289. Let, well, I hope so. I hope these are California judges. Judges scoring damage over control more these days. Let's hope so. Oh my God, it's going to be a fucking split decision. One judge had a Creighton, one judge had a Davis. So one's a wrestler, one's a striker. Let's see what this... Yes, Creighton won. Yes, Creighton won. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's go. The judges aren't all bad after all. California is not all bad after all. Let's go. Let's go. 11 strikes, Davis. 11 strikes. Fuck that, brother. Fuck that. That is an embarrassment. That is an embarrassment. Joe Daddy Stevenson, Dan Henderson. Look at this guy's corner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. The judges got it right. The judges got it right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Whew. 
I was about to rage quit. I think it's more than matchmaking. I think it's who they end up signing. Rory was great in the UFC, but only hugged once in Bellator. He was a champion in Bellator. Rory had a really good Bellator career. What are you talking about? Um, PFL he didn't do good in. Uh, Bader, Corey Anderson, Tim Johnson, Czech Congo. Corey Anderson's doing good in Bellator. Bader's doing good in Bellator. Uh, Czech Congo, Tim Johnson, not so much. But all boring wrestlers. Oh, I see. I got you. I got you. Uh, hell yeah. 3-3 three, three for the predictions. Hey, I got my prediction wrong in that one, but uh, I'm I'm glad that Creighton got the win. Let's fucking go. The judges are good, but California definitely sucks ass. Roy and Bellator, if you watch his fights, win or lose, he's boring. It's nowhere near the fights versus Lawler. Condon is what I mean. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, he was fighting a lot more timid because, well, he even admitted like that, that fight really, really messed him up. Crazy decision. I agree. Wow. He's like Kamaru, the hugging nightmare Kamaru. Genuinely one of the worst fights I have ever seen, said Matthew. Dude, it's and you could see that Creighton was so pissed. He was like, literally, this guy's hugging my legs. The one thing I will say is like credit to Creighton for like he didn't just lay there and accept that. Like he kept trying to get back up to his feet and he landed 60 strikes. So credit to him. That's the reason why he won that. If he would have, if he would have not thrown as many fight or strikes, Matthew, hell, even 20 less, the judges probably would have given it to Davis for just being a boring ass wrestler. Holy she. Imagine going on your first date with a girl, going to pick her up, and her dad is Dan Henderson. Oh, I'd, I'd run. Washed up UFC fighters have typically dominated Bellator fighters' levels in this. Musasi was one who actually was fun in Bellator when he left the UFC. Freaking gay guard. What an absolute beauty. Said he found God and his career started going downhill. Rory, yeah, he didn't want to hurt people anymore. Um, I also, I mean, I also heard that that fight messed him up a little bit too. Like he was also like, not only did he find God and was scared to hurt people, he also was scared of getting hurt. All right, Pam Sorensen up against Sarah Collins next year, folks. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> All right. We're going to highlight these next two fighters here, folks. As they're announcing them in the center of the cage. Do, 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 do. Where is this one? Here we go. 145 pound division. Pam Sorensen, Sarah Collins here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Graphic is already updated. We'll do a quick fighter run down here, and I'll give my prediction. Dun, 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 dun. Herzog again as the referee. All right, round one about to start here, folks. Pam Sorensen, minus 175 favor out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, baby. 37 years of age. Nine and five is her pro MMA record. Three and two in Invicta, one and two in Bellator. She lost her last Let's get it all. round one here, folks. Her last fights to Kat, and Z Kat Zinganu and Arlene uh, Blenkow. Kat Zinganu is 12 and four. Blenkow is 14 and eight. Before then, was on a two fight win streak in Invicta and Bellator. She wants us looking to snap her two fight losing streak in Bellator and get back into the win column is Sarah or sorry Pam Sorensen her opponent Sarah Collins out of Australia plus 140 underdog she's three and oh in her pro MMA career world-class wrestler but again has only fought three MMA fights in hex uh, demolition and eternal MMA making her Bellator debut um oh shoot who am I going with I'm going with the Minnesota and I'm going with Pam Sorensen locking it in let me know who you got here, folks. Clarify that by saying good UFC fighters, not all. 
Um, sup, everyone. It's official. We got our tickets for Pettis versus Jones. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You got to take some pictures and, uh, and let us know how they go. If you send me some pictures, I'll share them on stream, stream with everybody. Pam Sorensen on her back here. Collins inside control here. Some early success here by Collins. Able to take Sorensen to the ground and is trying to get her into a crucifix position here. City of Sunrise saying, I got Collins. Habib, not happy about this fight. Mike Jones with another super sticker. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Mike Jones. Collins now looking for the bulldog choke here. Collins. Oh, great work by Collins here. She singled out the right arm of Sorensen and she's just throwing shots to the side of her face. I mean, this is this is a crucifix position. This is a crucifix position. Sorensen can't defend herself here. Sorensen cannot defend herself here. She's just taking shots to the forehead. What? I mean, Herzog, how much time are you going to give her? Beautiful. Beautiful hook there by Collins. Beautiful. Like Collins has a body triangle on the arm and she gets the tap. That was an arm bar. That was an arm bar. She literally hooked the arm with the body triangle and pushed it out and made her tap Habib. Habib, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. You don't want to see these good fights. This was an awesome fight. Oh my goodness. What a submission. What a submission. Beautiful judo takedown right into side control here. Worked her way into a modified crucifix position. And then look what she did here. Locks in that arm and just cranks it with the legs. Arm bar from the legs, ladies and gentlemen. Gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Good shit, Mike Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the super stickers tonight, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's pouring in Minnesota right now. Oh, man. Pam Sorensen not happy right now. This is the only the second time in Sorensen's career that she has been submitted. Wow, that was really nice. I'm just pointed out, Khabib, because you were complaining. You're complaining in the chat, and then we see an awesome submission. Shit, the submission like nothing, man. Wow. Well, sorry, you said the Minnesotan loss. It's all good, buddy. It was a beautiful, beautiful submission. And at the end of the day, like I'm more invested in wanting to see good fights than the actual fighters. But my yeah, I'm not doing too good in my predictions. It's a good thing Shane's not here. No, I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying. It's it's good, it's it's karma. It's karma. I made a mistake by adrenaline three four in the predictions. First time in Bellator, fourth professional fight, and she gets a beautiful, beautiful submission like that, folks. All right, main card starting in 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Or oh, sorry, what did I say? 20 minutes, not 20 minutes. At uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, so in, what is it? We still got a lot of time until the... Bellator main card. We may have a lot of buffer in between that time, folks. 7 p.m. Pacific is when the main card starts. It's it's freaking... It's only 5.30 Pacific. Oh my god, Josh Thompson, please don't start rapping. Uh, oh well, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. What's good, Isha? What's good, living with H? What's good, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Happy Friday, everyone, by the way. I got I to gotta grab myself a wobbly pop here in a little bit. And some coffee later, because we got rising after this, ladies and gentlemen. We got rising after this one. If there is a big buffer time between 
the fights. I'll stay streaming, but I'm going to actually do some work live here on stream, and I'm going to get the Ryzen stream set up. Very excited for that one, folks. Guys, take your naps, grab some coffee, whatever you got to do so you can join me later this evening for Ryzen 41. I know Gravedigger Jones, he's got his energy drinks ready to go. All right, so we're still waiting to see Christian Edwards, Adam Pic uh, Piccolotti, and that's it. I think there's only two more fights on these on this preliminary card. So it's either going to be Adam Piccolotti against uh, Mandel Nalo. Or it's going to be Christian Edwards against Raheem Cleveland in this next fight here. Let's see what it is. This is why I left the women off my parlay. Especially in Bellator, man, because the odds don't really tell us anything about the, the fights. All right, fighters making their walk out to the ring now. And again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. You guys are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a podcast episode, a vlog, fishing vlog, music vlog, and of course, MMA content. Oh, here we go. We got another Canadian up here fighting out of Toronto, representing TriStar. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We have Mandel Nalo against Adam Piccolotti. Adam P is one of my dogs. Isha, I'm creating my first album, Early Tom, but not releasing it yet until I produce my music. Are you rapper? Firas! Piccolotti! Locking them in, locking them in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a quick highlight here again. I'm, I, I mean, I'm torn on this. I'm going to obviously root for the Canadian, but I'm kind of hoping that your dog wins, Mike Jones. All right, lightweights up here next, folks. Out of Canada, Mandel Nalo, Rat Garbage. What a what a nickname, Mr. Rat Garbage. He's the minus 160 favorite out of Ottawa, Ontario. He's 33 years of age. Tri-Star Gym is his primary gym. All nine of his wins. He's nine and two. All nine of his wins. Five via KO, TKO, four via submission. He's finished all his opponents. 4-2-1 and one in Bellator. He won his last fight against Bryce Logan via right hook in the first round. Looking at his opponent, Adam Piccolotti at a Half Moon Bay, California. He's 34 years of age, plus 135 underdog, 13-5-0. He is currently 3-2-3. and or two and three. No, sorry, 3. Yeah, 2-3 and three in his last five fights. 9-5 and five in Bellator, 4-0 and oh in Dragon House. He lost his last fight to Monsieur Barunu, Barunu um, but he won his last fight before that. Lost, win, lost. So he's been pretty streaky as of late. Round one, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm, I'm picking the Canadian, but Mike Jones, I'm rooting for your dog. I'm picking the Canadian. I'm picking Mendel Nalo to win. But again, rooting for Mike Jones. And his underdog. In the blue corner is the Canadian, lanky Canadian. Nalo in the red corner, Piccolotti. Or Piccolotti, my mistake. My apologies. I just heard his name be pronounced correctly on the broadcast. Four minutes and 19 seconds on the clock here, folks. No, I'm an electronic musician like Daft Punk. Yeah, I saw Li Jingliang was out. That, the news dropped a few days ago. Spinal injury. I picked Adam because the other guy looks like someone who was trained to fight, not born to fight. It's not that's that's not a bad uh, 
Not a bad criteria. Now look via the jab. The tri-star jab. Going for Adam, says Gravedigger Jones. Three minutes and 37 seconds. Front kick by Nalo. High kick by Nalo. I love the mustache by Nalo. I'll say that. The stash is, you know, 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Early Tom will be a ripoff of Homework 1997 of Daft Punk because I'll be adding some sound effects and scratch in my song. Let's go, Nalo, says the Ant-Man channel. What is up, Ant-Man? Another one of our exclusive members. What's going on? Nalo looks like he could be Burt Reynolds' illeg <laughs> illegitimate son. The Bollywood Burt Reynolds. Agreed on the stash. A body kick by Nalo, but it looks like it tripped him up more than it did Piccolotti. Piccolotti. Why do I keep saying Piccolotti? Piccolotti. Piccolotti. Ooh, a left hook attempt by Piccolotti. Oh, a straight front kick by Nalo. There's no disrespect. I mean, there's a lot of. East Indian Canadians. Oh, a nice right hand by Piccolotti and Nalo just eats it. Yeah, the leech is out. The leech is out. Going for a takedown is Piccolotti. Nalo defending it, but gets taken down just for a moment. Back up to his feet, and Piccolotti doing a good job of dragging that left leg. And now right angle, right ankle, I should say, of Nalo back. Nalo back up to his feet, but Piccolotti slam takedown. Nalo back up to his feet. Slam takedown again, Piccolotti. And now going for the back is Piccolotti. Body triangle is secured. Here we go. Here we go, Mike Jones. Was going for the net crank there. Doesn't get it. One minute and 17 seconds left in this first round. Body triangle secured. Piccolotti. Fighting the hands here to look for that rear naked choke. Rolling now is Nalo Piccolotti staying right on his back. Now in full mount here. Full mount here. Nalo looking to get back up to his feet, but riding like a backpack is Piccolotti. 50 seconds left here. Piccolotti full mount again here. Now we're trying to move out of it, but Piccolotti just staying on him. Ground and pound. Back control. I'd watch Bellator with you, but I'm watching the Lakers play. Go Lakers! It's all good, Hernan. Thank you for dropping a comment in the live chat. Please like this video as well, folks. Anyone who's tuning in here, please like this video. We're trying to get this video to 50 likes. Nice foot stomp by Piccolotti. Nalo back up to his feet. 10 seconds left in this third round. Mike Jones, Adam will take one to give one because he believes in himself. Nalo looked so unsure in his last couple wins. This was an easy pick for me. I hope it pans out, and that is it for the first round. Hey, fun first round. Both these guys were, like Mike Jones said, were trading some shots on the feet there. Great job by Piccolotti. Faraz, yeah, in the corner. Famous TriStar coach. Again, my pick was for the Canadian. But if the American wins, I'm not going to be too butt hurt, butt hurt because Mike Jones has money on him. Again, folks, if you like these hats that I wear throughout the stream, got to give a shout out to my friends at Waggle Golf. They uh, they sponsor my podcast, but through them, my podcast, the, the Soda Pod, not the City Life Podcast, through them, they have awesome apparel if you're a golfer or if you want some business casual stuff because I don't golf and I still wear their products. Um, you can use promo code SP10 for 10% off 
anything on the website, getyourwaggleon.com. They ain't even paying me for that on this stream. I just wanted to give them some love because they help me look fresh as fuck for these live streams. Round two. Let's get it all. And again, Mandel Nalo has never gone to the judges' scorecards in a win. He's finished all nine of his fights. Five finishes via KOTKO, four by submission. Piccolotti got the better of him in that first round, though. Early wish for more when I saw the mustache. <laughs> Minus 357 is Piccolotti in the live line. That's a good... What's what's Nalo right now? Four minutes and five seconds left in the second round. Nalo looking for a knee there. Nalo wants to keep this on the feet, keep this in the center, doesn't want any, to go anywhere near the cage. Plus 225 for Nalo. Still a good bet. Oh, a high kick by Nalo. Another high kick by Nalo. Doesn't land. He's just throwing them. He's got to be careful. Piccolotti, when he enters, he hits hard. Bollywood Burt, let's go, baby. Outside low kick by Nalo. Eating some White Castle. Mm -mm. I've never had it. Never had it. I've watched Harold and Kumar, but I've never seen. Great level change by Piccolotti. Going right to the ground. Takes Nalo to the ground. Nalo gets right back up to his feet. Piccolotti still attacking his back with the left hook. Right hook in. Pass for me. The difference on the ground is too wide. Foul one. How's the fight so far? Pretty good, to be honest, man. Pretty good, to be honest. Only one fight has gone to the judge's scorecard. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, out of seven fights, we've only had two go to the judge's scorecards. The rest have been uh, submissions and one KO, TKO. Two minutes and 22 seconds left in this second round. Nalo back up to his feet, pushing Piccolotti up against the cage. Uh, give me Mukhaev, loser Perez versus Cape. Foul one, are you brewing some coffee? Are you watching some Ryzen with us later? One minute and 47 seconds. Nala doing really well this round. Nice right hand by Nalo. Piccolotti, you know, definitely winning that f first round, like hands down. No ifs, ands, or buts. This round is a lot closer. Hell yeah, I'm all in on Ryzen. Left, left single leg attempt by Piccolotti. He takes Nalo down for just a second. Nalo right back up to his feet. Piccolotti dragging him back down to the ground, but Nalo, good roll there. Nalo ends up almost in the top position here with 50 seconds left. Oh, and Piccolotti gets back on top and now threatening with an arm triangle choke. I don't think he has his left arm in the right position. No, he doesn't to secure, but he lands some ground and pound. Nalo, though, good job of getting right back up to his feet. Every single time Nalo's popped up to his feet. 30 seconds left in the second round. Nalo pushing Piccolotti up against the cage. 10 seconds left in the second round. Shout out to everyone tuning in live here on the channel. Like the video. We're trying to get to 50 likes. Like the video. We're trying to get to 50 likes. Vote in the poll question. 
If your answer, the pick you want, is not there, comment in the live chat. Subscribe to the channel. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction every single weekend for multiple, multiple combat sports leagues. So join in our live chat here. Join our community. Happy to have you. All right. Do, 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 do. Third and final round coming up here next, folks. And we're supposed to have two more prelims after this. Before the main card. Let's see if they were canceled or if we're still going to have them at the top of the hour here. Or just after the top of the hour, I should say. Third and final round coming up here, folks. 1919, odds are even on the live line. I just smashed the like button, dude. Hopefully you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Smash that shit, Eddie. What is up, Eddie? Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Nalo is gun shy because he's afraid of the takedown. What's up, Eddie? Happy Friday, my man. About to crack a cold one after this. Really excited to see you. Hope that you're joining us for Ryzen later, Eddie. I went on the Cowley page. Ground and pound like that button. Let's go, baby. Thank you so much, guys. We're trying to get to 50 likes. Let's go. How's your day going, Eddie? I missed the entire second round of the commentators. Correct in saying it could be one and one. Yes. Nalo definitely outstruck Piccolo. He did more damage to him in that second round and got right back up to his feet every single time Piccolo threatened with the takedown. So it is very much 1919 right now. I'll be here all night, bro. Oh, and a nice takedown by Piccolo. Let's see if he can do something with it in this third round, something he couldn't do in the second. Again, shout out to you, Eddie. I appreciate all the support you show this channel. Of course, buddy. Of course. Hope everyone's doing good here tonight. Happy Friday to you all. Oh, and here we go. Back take again by Piccolo. This is what he had success doing in the first round. Flattening out Nalo. Looking for that rear naked choke. Net crank here. Net crank here. Piccolo has the back of Nalo. He's going for the net crank. Got the back. Let's go. Nalo has never been submitted in his pro MMA career. Three minutes and 18 seconds on the clock on my stream, folks. Three minutes and 12 seconds to work here for Piccolo in the top position. Three minutes on the clock. Piccolo utilizing the wrestling beautifully here as he actually does some damage, actually, as he actually goes for submissions. Now he's in the full mount. Full mount. Full mount by Piccolo. Nalo rolling here to try to get his back again. He's giving up his side right now. If Piccolo gets a submission here, the broadcast said that would be a sixth submission win in the promotion, and he'll have. The record for that. Solid. I missed the only round my boy could have lost. Yeah, two minutes and 19 seconds here in pure absolute domination by Piccolo in the full mount here, just landing shots on Nalo. Nalo trying to turn again on his side here. Good job by Piccolo. Not allowing him to move an inch. Piccolotti now going for the choke. Piccolotti now going for the choke. Is it under the neck? It's not quite under the neck, but it's getting close. Good job of fighting the hands by Nalo. One minute and 42 seconds left here. Only real fighters got that dog in him. Learned fighters will never... Uh, learned fighters will never understand. That's true, buddy. That's true. Dude, it's like how back in the day, fighters like Sakuraba, who, you know, 
they they had that you know he had that dog in him man is it under the neck is it under the neck here in one minute nine seconds left piglodi still going for that renegade choke now doing a good job of fighting the hands but this round has been all piccolodi ladies and gentlemen It's not quite under the neck here, but squeezing regardless of Piccolotti. Looks like he got it. It's getting close, dude. It's getting close. 48 seconds left. Oh, there we go. This one's under the neck. Or this one's under the chin, I should say. This one's under the chin. Any tap. He's going to finish it! The underdog takes it. Cash that money, Mike Jones. Mike Jones gets this one. Nalo suffers his first submission loss of his career. Seventh submission in the promotion for Piccolotto. Setting the record in Bellator for the most submissions. Congratulations. He is now 14-5. and five. He just took out the favorite... The Canadian prospect from TriStar. What is going on, TriStar? Come on, guys. Come on. Wow. Damn. He did it. Adam won the bout. Gravedigger Jones predictions four and four. Mike Jones yesterday had some good prospects. That dude going for that one arm with his chin. That was sweet uh, to see. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, Yesterday, yeah, that BFL card was fun, man. That BFL card was fun. They put together a good card despite it being regional British Columbia, Canada <laughs> fighting. Look at the legend, Faraz Zahabi. There, I haven't seen him corner for a little while. Arnold Allen is the only hope for TriStar. Yes, the English kid is the only hope for TriStar. And he splits his time now with uh, Renegade, so Leon Edwards camp. And uh, and try to thank you so much for the super sticker, Mike Jones. Mike Jones, yeah, that shit thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I'm glad you won your bet. You didn't have to do this. You didn't have to do this. Thank you so much, man. honestly. Official announcement in the center of the cage right now, Mike Jones. Thank you so much for the super stickers that you've been sending my way tonight. Really appreciate it, brother. Piccolotti. Four minutes and 26 seconds into the third round, and he gets the submission. Wow. 10 and 5 in Bellator. Oh, I love it. Is that a peach? Is that a peach? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. Thank you so much. It's like a peach or a lemon or something. Anyways, I dig it. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Mike Jones. You're an absolute beauty. Appreciate it. I, I say it every time, and I'm going to continue to say it every time. You have no idea how much it helps. Let's go, Canada. The prelims are better than the main card, which is crazy. And they were amateur fights. That's what's even crazier. No, Josh Thompson, you're not fooling anyone. Uh, the Bellator prelims were fun, bro. Can't wait for the main card. The prelims have delivered. So that's it for the prelims, eh? So there were two fights on the prelims that didn't happen. There's two fights on the prelims that didn't happen. When I give my picks to the chat, I'm always right, unless Usman is fighting. That's true, Mike Jones. That's true. Well... And Derek Lewis, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Josh Thompson glasses. Are there going to be postlums? Yeah, it doesn't look like Mike Hamill and Nick Brown fought or Christian Edwards or Rakeem Cleveland. They have an hour before the main card. Oh, no, here we... Wait, are we... Are we going into the main card or... No, okay, we have more. We have more prelims. I, I knew that wasn't done yet. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. I knew we had some some more prelims. I, I knew we weren't going right to the main event and waiting an hour. All right, Mike Hamill against Nick Brown next year, folks. 
So it looks like both of them with wrestling backgrounds. Uh, Nick Brown, Nick Nyquil Brown, 33 years of age. Out of uh, Uniontown, Pennsylvania, he's the plus 150 underdog, 13 and 2 in his pro MMA career. 3 and 0 in LFA, 2 and 1 in Bellator, 1 and 0 in World Series of Fighting. He lost his last fight to Islam Mamedov in Bellator. Before them, was on an impressive five fight win streak in LFA and Bellator. 3 in LFA, 2 in Bellator. Looking to get back in the win column is the slight underdog, Nick Brown. Looking at his opponent, Mike Magic Hamill. 30 years of age, minus 180, slight favorite out of Glendale, Arizona. He is 9-5 and five in his promo made career. He is on a two-fight win streak, 2-2 two and two in Bellator, 0-3 and three in LFA, two-fight win streak in Bellator. Didn't do good in LFA. Lost to Usman Nurmagomedov in his first or second Bellator fight and then won his last two against Bryce Logan and Kirill's Mota. Um, I'm going for the underdog here. Nick Nyquil Brown locking it in. And here we go. Again, let me know your predictions as well, folks. And already they're starting to throw some bombs here. Nyquil Brown in the blue corner. Hamill in the red. Big lightweights here, folks. Great prelims on this card. And it's really awesome to be able to watch them with you folks. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Uploading various videos in the next few days, folks. Never forget. Oh, shit! And Hamill just rocked Brown. Hamill just rocked Brown. Hamill, if Brown is out. Oh, Brown is out. Okay, Brown isn't out. He gets back up to his feet, but the ref ends it, and Hamill early TKO. I've been given terrible picks for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Maybe a little bit of an early stoppage there, but I honestly thought he was out for a second. Oh, my goodness. What another finish. Another finish. Derek wasn't official. I bet my boy Benjamin, uh, he wouldn't get subbed and he was wrong. Yes. And was so wrong. I was in the exact same boat as you, Mike Jones. I, I remember that very clearly. Uh, hey, bro, how does it feel to have the balls to bet on Leon and get that dub? I would have been so hyped if I had the balls to go with Leon like you. <laughs> Hamill by KO. I picked Hamill. Fuck, that was fast. Woo, headshot dead. These guys are putting on a show excluding Davis. No, yes. So far, this card has been... Oh, it was a head kick. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yo, he didn't. He did. He went limp for a sec. A good job by Brown for getting back up quickly, but he 100% went limp for a sec. That was foot on the jaw. If you see him now, he falls backwards. Hamill gets right on him. Left uppercut. Here we go. Here we go. Left hand, two left hands, one to the jaw, and three more there with the left. And, and Hamill, or sorry, uh, Brown goes flat for a second. That was a good stoppage by the official. I'll never pick a fighter who called himself Nyquil ever again. <laughs> he went to sleep like Nyquil, baby. Oh my goodness. The magic trick himself. Magic Mike ha Mike Hamill. Wow. Head kick. Benson Henderson in his corner too. Wow. Wow. That was insane. That was so quick. That was so quick. Shout out to the favorite there. Damn, son. Damn. It was over before I could share my pick. No, it was a risk. It was a risk, Grave Digger Jones. And look, I ain't doing too well tonight. I think I've only have I only predicted two right so far. It has not been a good night for me as well. It's a good thing Shane's not in the chat because my beer bet, I, I would have been losing in every beer bet. <laughs> they actually have time to interview him. Six and oh for 
Mike Jones with two underdog picks as well. That's there's Mike Hamill saying uh, that uh, he had 15 months off of fighting and he comes back and gets a win in 15 seconds. Wow. All right, last prelim fight next year, folks. Last prelim fight next year. And then we have the main card at the top of the hour. Wow, I can't believe how quick that fight went, folks. And I sh we should have called it based on how this card has been going. Benton Henderson, his wife may have lost, but... The guy he's coaching, cornering his teammate, just won here in beautiful fashion. That's a, that's a great story. Hamill actually was going to be an elementary school teacher while he was, you know, studying, was fighting, decided to take that over as his full-time job. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? All right. Heavyweights to conclude the prelims next year, folks. It's going to suck when this parlay loses after going 6 and 0. Oh, why the fuck did I put 11 of these on a slip? Hey, so far so good, Mike Jones. So far so good. Positivity. Let's keep it up. Let's keep up the positivity. Okay, we got heavyweight fighters here next, folks. I know I'm going to take a break after this fight while there's some buffer time. I'll knock like for example, if like there's a knockout in this fight, like, I'm not just going to be gone for 45 minutes. I'll, I'll come back on. Don't worry, but we are going to take a little bit of an extended break. By the way, folks, I don't know if you're watching the broadcast here. An unbelievable documentary. Is, uh, is coming out on Showtime next week. So excited. It's called Catching Lightning. It's the Lee Murray documentary. Coming out April 7th on Showtime and Paramount. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for this documentary. The Lee Murray documentary that we've been waiting, shoot, what, 10 years now for? Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, quick highlight here, the fighters. Then I'll have a quick break. I'm just going to fill up my water bottle. Then we'll come back here for this last fight of the prelims. We have Christian Payne Edwards, 5-2 and two in his pro MMA career. He's the minus 500 heavy favorite. 24 years of age going up against Rakim Cleveland, the boogeyman, 22, 15, and one. He's the underdog plus 360, 33 years of age. Christian Edwards, five and two. Like I said, five and two in Bellator. He's only been with Bellator. He lost his last two fights, one to Ben Parrish and one to to Grant Neal. Both of them unanimous decision. He was not knocked out in those fights. Uh, looking at his opponent, the boogeyman, Rakim Cleveland, making his walkout right now, 22-15 and 1 out of Texas. 1-4 and four in the PFL, 0-2 and two in Bellator. He's on a two-fight losing streak right now in the promotion. He was on a three-fight winch before joining Bellator, but those were in promotions such as Caged Aggression, North Iowa Fights, and B2 Fighting Series. At the highest level in PFL, he only has one win. In Bellator, still doesn't have a win. 33 years old, he is the veteran going up against the young Christian Edwards, who's on a, also on a two-fight losing streak, but is also hungry, and he's 24 years of age. I'm going with the favorite. I'm going with Christian Edwards, locking it in. Mr. Grant Gregory, I sent you the scorecards in the split decision. Yeah, I want to see who that one fucking judge was. He scored it 30-27. Okay, folks, let me know your predictions in the live chat here. Edwards is making his walk out to the cage. I'm literally going to just take a like one-minute break here. I'm going to go grab something to drink for this last... I just need to grab some water, to be perfectly honest, for this last fight here. Then we'll talk a little bit before the main card. I'll take another break, and then we'll be back to ride through into the main card. Don't worry, we're not going to end this stream between. 
I am going to be doing some work on stream and answering your questions as we go, but we will be back for the featured fight here on the prelims before we roll over to the main event of the evening. Two minutes time. Get your predictions in the live chat here. Edwards says Ant-Man channel. I'll see you folks for this heavyweight bout in two minutes time on the break on the other side. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Out of nowhere, spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love, love, love that I die. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We can just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna And we're back live. What did I tell you? I told you we'd be right back. I just needed to grab some water here. As this voice is going to be going all night, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We have the main card of Bellator next. And then after that, we get a little bit of a break before Ryzen 41 to take us through into the sunrise here in North America. But before all that, we have the heavyweights live here on Bellator 293 prelims, ladies and gentlemen. Get your predictions in for this fight. Again, I went with the favorite here. I went with the young Christian Edwards. Let me know who you are picking in the live chat. And again, shout out to me, you, Mr. Grant Gregory, and all the and Ant Man channel, all the exclusive members here in the live chat. Reminder, folks, that at the end of the stream, I will go through the live chat and give every single one of you a shout out. Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Don't, 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 don't. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This explodes. My friend, actually, the, the, the first guest on the podcast, Hannah Rose, is tweeting about this as well. She loves Bellator, and she talks about that in the, the podcast episode. She's like, I cannot believe this is free on YouTube. These guys are, someone's going down here. Someone's going down. Body kick by Edwards. Cleveland grabs and tries to throw a counter right hook. Four minutes and 15 seconds left in the first round. Oh, and a nice right hand by Cleveland. Oh, and they're just thrown in the pocket. They're just thrown in the pocket. Someone's going down. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got to get off Twitter because everyone's just swooning over this card right now. I'm missing some of the action here. Wait, she didn't know? <laughs> if anyone ever wants to spend the night in mobile, uh, I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express in Saraland two nights ago, and it was really nice. Good to know. Come on, Edwards. And a takedown by Edwards. Again, Edwards in the red corner, Cleveland in the blue. Edwards in half guard right now. Pushing Cleveland up against the cage. Cleveland on his back here. Left side of Cleveland's... The left side of Cleveland up against the cage. Oh, 
Nice elbow by Christian Edwards in the top position. Yeah, that's forcing Cleveland to move. Two minutes left. One minute, 45 seconds. Half guard, top position, Edwards. Keep the comments coming, folks. We'll check them in just one moment. One minute, 25 seconds. What's up, everybody? What's the time so I can sync up? One minute and 18 seconds left in this first round, buddy. Edwards versus Cleveland. Just for the record, Isha. Um, oh, Mobile. Uh, home of Mardi Gras is pronounced Mobile. Sorry, I'm just used to the fucking phone, right? Mobile. Or the mobile homes. It's great to see you, average fight fan. Yes, how are you doing? Same what's up to him as the others in the live chat here. 43 seconds left in this first round. Average fight fan. It's been an electric, to say the least, prelim card on this Bellator 293 event. Full mount here, back mount here. 22 seconds left. Softening him up with punches to the side of the face here. Looking for a rear naked choke. There's not enough time. There's not enough time. But a dominant end of the first round for Christian Edwards. Yo, what's up, Matt? One of our exclusive members as well. Just watch some free Bellator on YouTube, buddy. And if you have Showtime, uh, you can also watch this, Matt, right after on the main card. The other day, Ariel said it's customary in Canada. Take your shoes off when you enter someone's house. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never... I've never worn my shoes in someone's house. Ever. Like, unless unless we're remodeling the house. And even then, I put a mat down. Why are we dirtying people's floors and carpets? Uh, I'm doing good, brother. Waiting for my devil's lettuce to show up. Atta boy, atta boy. Guys, I can't wait for Yoel Romero to fight for the title in Bellator. What, in a, f a month? All right, ladies and gentlemen, round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Heavyweights here in the featured fight on the prelims, folks. We go to the main card after this. Dirty Americans. Literally. Just dragging dust, mud, and germs into other people's houses. <laughs> yeah, another can or uh there's no you're American. I was gonna say you're Canadian. We people wear shoes in other people's houses. Apparently that's what you guys do in America. Uh, it's not customary outside of Canada, people just walk over other people's carpets and dirty shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that in the audience? Come on, Cleveland! <laughs> Four minutes and five seconds left in the second round. Inside low kick. For Cleveland, Edwards with the front kick. Edwards with the outside low kick. Cleveland makes him pay with that left hook. If someone took their shoes off here, it'd be more so seen as making yourself comfortable. Maybe just Canadians, we're just all comfortable with each other. So we're all just like, oh, what's up, bro? I'm just going to take off my shoes here. I've never seen that. Well, it's because it's way too snowy or, or just like 
wet here for most of the year. And then the other time of the year, you're just wearing sandals, so it doesn't really matter, or like Sanooks or some shit. Close right hand by Cleveland. He's looking for that one kill shot. Well, it's mostly boots, let's be honest. Mostly boots in Minnesota. I haven't taken on my blunts. I haven't worn any shoes with my Blundstones, I don't think, all winter. Maybe one day I had a meeting and I wore my blue suede shoes. Three minutes and 16 seconds left in the second round. It stayed on the feet thus far. Edwards is not taking this to the ground yet. Cleveland looking for that counter shot. Cleveland, they'll throw in some kicks to that lead left leg. Looking for that double left jab by Edwards. Doesn't get it in Cleveland land. I don't know if he landed that left uppercut clean, but he was looking for it. It trips me out when I see people have clean houses, but yet they wear shoes in the house. Well, they have inside shoes, I think. I can't wait to get wasted tomorrow for 22. Yes, happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Arrow also said, y'all store your shoes by the front door rather than in your bedroom. Is that also true? Why would you bring your shoes in your bedroom? You guys are so weird. Yes, dude. Yes. And you have a little mat too, so you don't drag dust around. You pad that shit off, put it on the rack, and then boom, done. Jeez. No one has carpets in the States anymore, apparently. One minute and 55 seconds left in this second round. Still on their feet here, but they're clinching. Elbow by Cleveland. I, I literally thought they were just going to throw until someone fell to the ground in the opening minute of this fight, but it'd be funny if the heavyweights go the distance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 opposite for us, brother. It's opposite for us. Uh, you leave them in the garage or at the front door. Also, we there's more snow. There's more rain. There's more mud, I imagine, in most of Canada, so... Let's go Red Glove. Let's go Edwards, the favorite here. Down here, there's a lot more hardwood floors than carpet. I mean, I'd imagine up here as well. I'm just like... <laughs> the houses that my friends own and or the houses I grew up with. <laughs> Not rich enough to have them hardwood. But pretty much every new house that's being built, you're right. There's hardly any carpet. It's all laminate or hardwood. Man, I'm scared that Cleveland's going to land that one just big strike here. Is Edwards starting to fade a little bit, it looks like. 44 seconds left in the second round. Uh, Benjamin, start taking note more often of what Ariel uh, goes off about the differences between Canada and the States because this is actually really funny. I listened to his Monday show. I didn't catch the Wednesday one yet. I didn't, yeah, it's been busy. I haven't been able to finish it yet. And go for the takedown. Single leg is Edwards. Good takedown defense by Cleveland thus far. 17 seconds left in this second round. Cleveland pushing Edwards up against the cage. Will he get the takedown late here? 10 seconds. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Just got to make some coffee at the end of the stream. End of the second round. Sens fans are sensitive about Tim Stutzel. What happened? What happened? Matt, you staying up for Ryzen? You staying up for Ryzen? Of course you are. Of course you are. Why am I even asking? Looking like 7 0 oh, that 11 way parlay. 90 units for two unit risk, but no fucking way that hit shit hits. 11 is way too many. Mike Jones, I believe in you. What's that South Park beam? Ooh, and there's a cut. Looks like right on the side. On the side of Cleveland's eye, the right eye there. Coaches of Cleveland are saying he has to win this round. Well, Ariel's in New York City, so he's basically still in Canada. No, dude, no. New York City is like Toronto, and Toronto is more American than Canada. Okay, but put it this way I can see like why he's kind of gracious. Like, why would you want to walk around New York City, rat piss everywhere? and then walk into your house or your friend's house with your shoes. That's disgusting. Bro, you missed so many good fights at one. I know I got to rewatch them. Round three. Let's get it all. 
Some Fridays I have to work, guys. This was one of them. And I'm also staying up all night for Ryzen, so I figured I, I got to get some sleep. But JC, I'm glad it was a good card. I saw some of the highlights. I can't wait to rewatch the card tomorrow before PFL, baby. If you believe that makes one of us, hey. I was going to say, I believed Edwards would do it, but I still picked Usman to win, so. I said Jack Hughes is better than Tim Stutzla, and the Sens fans overrate Timmy Stutz. I mean, I think Jack Hughes is better. I, I don't even see how that's an argument because they probably thought that because you said that, that you were saying it to like, just be mean. You know what I mean? And you were, and I'm, and I'm guessing you weren't hinting at the fact that Stutzel was a bad player at all. Yeah. I wouldn't want to bring New York city into my house either. Raptors lost by seven. Shane, you are so fucking lucky or sorry. I am so fucking lucky that you weren't in this stream. I think I've only gotten two predictions, right? You would have won the beer bet dude by a long shot. You would have been up by like four right now. So thank you. I can't believe I'm, I'm thanking someone for not being in the stream, but Shane, thank you because you would have destroyed me in beer bets. This card has been crazy underdog favorite. It means nothing. It means nothing. I don't know what the heck Edwards is doing there with the spinning heel kick. We got heavyweights here. Three minutes and 22 seconds left of the third and final round. Uh, no, because usually, I mean, I, I'll switch into like dress shoes or like my office shoes if I'm wearing boots outside. Again, Canada, bro. We got snow, rain. We're tracking a lot of shit into houses, but uh, no, office is different. But offices are cleaned every night, dude. Houses aren't. I mean, it kind of was just saying he isn't in huge class yet, even though Sens fans think he is. I think there's an argument. I don't think it's crazy. And if you're saying it just to be a dick, well, then good. They should be mad. Uh, I lived in Toronto for a year. Most of my family lived there. It's not the same as the rest of Canada. No, it's not, dude. Toronto is Toronto. Oh, and a nice right hook by Cleveland. It's like, you know, high level got that Canada vibes, but it's a whole other... It's it's closer to an American city than it is any other Canadian city. You want to go to a Canadian city that's actually like a big city and has Canadiana culture to it? I mean, Montreal, even though it's like Quebecois culture, but it's still Montreal is a very unique city. Vancouver, Calgary. Calgary is one of the most underrated cities in Canada, I think. So you'll walk around with two pairs of shoes when going to work. Uh, usually I'll have like work. Yeah, I mean, I I would I'd have, I'd bike to work, so I had my biking shoes. And then my nice shoes, or sometimes I have my boots and then I change into my actual shoes. Cause I don't want to be walking around Blundstones in the office. Noah Stevens, who is winning this fight at the moment? Uh, Edwards, he's employed his wrestling a little bit more, but Cleveland, he's landed some shots as well, but I'd say Edwards is up two rounds to one or sorry, two rounds to none. And this third one, it's pretty much like, I have no idea. It's pretty even. They're both kind of gassed here. Maybe you could make an argument that Cleveland's done more in this third round, but I think Edwards won the first two. He definitely won the first one handedly, Noah. I'm not even a good troll, dude. I, I wanted to be when I was younger. And I was just... It just didn't come out right. Is that it? That is it. Edwards just tapped. <laughs> Edwards just tapped. Edwards, he didn't just... Edwards just fucking quit. Edwards quit. Rakeem Cleveland no doubt had a guillotine, but he quit. He quit. Cleveland went for the inside low kick, forcing Edwards to go in for a takedown. Rakeem gets a guillotine, and don't get me wrong, he's squeezing here. It's a, it's a solid guillotine, but it's not. It's... Okay, maybe it was sunken. I didn't think that that was sunken as much as it was. I thought that Edwards kind of was just like, I'm so tired and my leg hurts and I'm out of here. But no, that was a clear tap. As Alistair Overeem would say, I clearly felt a tap. I clearly saw a tap. And oh my goodness, the underdog takes it, folks. The underdog takes it again. Huge win here by a guillotine, no less. You're blowing my mind right now. As you are to my mind, sir. 
<laughs> I am uh, the straight, my man. Uh, that best of showing was pretty funny. Not gonna lie, that was good. That was good. Dog, what kind of question is that? Oh, talking to Noah. <laughs> I don't know. Just Noah's curious. I knew that shit would lose. I'm sorry, Mike Jones. I shouldn't have said anything. It's a similar move to Jones versus Gone. Yeah, except this one took three rounds. Four and six for Gravedigger Jones. Hey, we still have the main card ahead of us, and we still got Ryzen. I'll probably stay up tonight for Ryzen and F1 qualifying tonight. Hell yeah. Well, Ryzen, I think, starts at midnight. What, what was it, chat? Midnight? What, what time does it start Eastern? Let's just go that. What time does it start Eastern? Let, actually, let's just check. I, I'm pretty sure I put the right times on my schedule. I copied from Composa. We're going to take a little bit of a break here in a little bit. Got a seventh av at home, so that will be tasty. Hell yeah. I was going to go get some, and then it started raining like a motherfucker, and I was like, I don't want to leave my house. Yeah, the referee. What is this guy? Herb Dean? Not even, not even close to a position where he can see the tap. Interesting. Interesting. Like the video, folks. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video. 2 a.m. Eastern. My goodness. 2 a.m. Eastern. I don't know why it said the, the broadcast started at midnight on my fight TV, but anyways. Do, 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 Oh, Noah getting spicy in the chat. Jeez. Uh, six and one. I still got one parlay on the main. Boo, says Ant Man. It's snowing now. Goddamn. Yeah, Kaposa said 2 a.m. Eastern. But maybe like the show starts at. Anyways, regardless, we're going to start the stream at midnight. <laughs> yeah, Mike Jones, jeez. <laughs> I just Ron Burgundy clicked that one too. Yeah, no one fucks with Benjamin. Okay, I'm going to check this again. Fight TV. That's where I'm watching this on. Is Edward saying he didn't tap? Benjamin, that's a good question, actually. Um, I mean, I'm sure Edwards is uh, is arguing. I'm reading the chat. I'm not really listening to the broadcast right now, to be perfectly honest. Thoughts on Patty and Habula? Hasbula? I mean, Hasbula freaking yanking his ear of his little kitty cat? Fuck that little guy, man. You don't fuck with cats. The internet will come after you. And Patty the Batty, I, he's going to get smoked. And I'm, I'm going to laugh. Uh, F1 qualify starts at 12, so I'll have the stream on my phone and F1 on my TV. Hell yeah, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> this one should be appealed to a no contest. I don't think I get the main card. I just checked my TV. Do you have Paramount and or Showtime, Shane? Thoughts on tape being released? Who's he boxing, guys? <laughs> Was he fighting Jake Paul next or what? Don't fuck with cats as a Netflix documentary. Yes, actually, I, I've seen it. It was actually pretty good. Livid yet not surprised, foul. It's okay. We just kicked Noah out. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. Don't worry. I'm not going to be gone for freaking 20 minutes. We're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we will be back here to hang out 
until the main card starts. We might even take another break after that, but we will be back to run down the main card, ladies and gentlemen. Back for more Bellator MMA. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We have new videos dropping every single day this weekend on the channel. We had our first podcast episode drop. That's right. You can find it, the City Life Podcast, wherever you get your podcast from or on this channel via video form. Again, we have about 20 minutes until the main card starts. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Don't worry. We're not going to be gone here for 20 minutes. We will be back here to talk about Whatever you guys want in the, in the world of mixed martial arts, hell, we'll just gauge the live chat here. You guys keep talking amongst yourselves. Don't worry. Keep talking amongst yourselves. We're not ending the stream. I'm just going to take a break. I'm going to grab something to drink. I'm going to do a quick stretch here before we come back to preview the main card. And then we might take one more break till the uh, at, right before the top of the hour before the main card starts here if anyone needs a place to watch this hit up the live chat they can help you out and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes here on the other side bellator 293 live here on the city Light project youtube channel vote in the poll question like the video we're trying to get this video to 50 likes ladies and gentlemen and i will see you folks in just a few minutes for let's say four to six minutes Four to six minute break on the other side. We will be back here to run down the main card live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Again, like and subscribe, vote in the poll question, and we'll see you after the break. Don't go anywhere. Talk amongst yourselves, and we'll see you in just a few minutes time. I 
just buy the new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you have to know it. That's the stuff that I love, love, love that I die. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We can just laugh if you wanna. Late nights on the stars if you wanna. We can just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. It's like the story of my life. Best friends, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well. I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love You a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight Always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her, but I put it in the music Well, that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love, love Love that I die We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all have Hey, tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her, but I put it in the music Well, that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love, love Love that I die We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all have Hey, tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one. Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon. Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat. Like, we could be friends if you wanna. We could just talk if you wanna. We could hold hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. I just bought a new way. 
Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me, but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above, get the cream on the side, make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love, love, love that I die. We can be friends if you wanna. We can just talk if you wanna. We can all hands if you wanna. And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel for Bellator 293. The prelims are over. We are almost at the main card, ladies and gentlemen. That's right at the top of the hour, 10 p.m. Eastern. We will be getting to the main card of Bellator 293. My name is Isha Jeromey. For those who don't know, welcome to the channel. We do live fight companions every single weekend on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. We did some BFL yesterday. We have some Bellator today. Ryzen, literally in just a few hours, we'll be streaming some Ryzen. And then PFL, the first week of the their season, their 2023 season, um, will be... Saturday night in the place of UFC on ESPN plus. So a lot of great streams here. The conversation in the chat is a buzzing. Was it professor chaos? Did you drop the Hasbula bomb? Look, it all comes down to this on the internet. You don't fuck with cats. Do I think it's going to be enough to cancel Hasbula? No. Did I lose a little bit of respect for that little man? I was like, come on, bro. Come on. Maybe the, 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 this was the thing I was saying on Twitter. Every Twitter comment was like, they don't know he's a 20 year old man. Oh my God. And did you hear Mike Tyson? Oh man, he's just such a cute little guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude, Mike Tyson. Oh my, he's, he's so fucking funny. He's so funny. Um, he actually has a cannabis farm. Um, in Vancouver, like on the mainland, uh, just just outside of Vancouver, it might even be Abbotsford to be perfectly honest, or maybe closer to Hope. But anyways, um, yeah, shit's pretty good. Shit's pretty good. We, Kyle, Tim, and I actually we filmed a video. We never finished it though, um, because we just didn't know like if YouTube would get mad at us or not. But uh, let's just say we we made a whole skit of where like we indulged in the the Mike Tyson strain. And then we dubbed our voices with like sh crazy shit that Mike Tyson has said. And then we'd like cover our mouths and be like, the skit was like, you smoke Mike Tyson's weed. You start talking like Mike Tyson. And so like one of them was like spinal. Uh, one was like, I eat your children. And then like, anyways, we had like a whole skit and everything planned. I think we filmed half of the video to be perfectly honest. I think it just, the weed messed us up a little too much. <laughs> That's what I think happened. And then we just like forgot to film the end of the video or, or whatever. But I, I found some of the old footage as I was going through my hard drive the other day. And I was like, oh my goodness, we forgot to, to produce this video. Oh man. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Did you ever see when Mike Tyson's, Mike Tyson's ate a handful of shrooms and went on the Logan Paul podcast? I didn't. I don't listen to Logan Paul's podcast. Like, and I don't follow it at all. So. No, I haven't seen it. Um, Ophelia McCulk, what's going on? Hey, bit out of topic. What are your thoughts on the Joshua versus Franklin? Would appreciate a shout out. Watching from the UK, we'll shout out to you. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. I'm not going to lie. Not the biggest boxing guy. <laughs> Very much more kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA. But uh, what are your thoughts on it? Give me some. Give me a quick like few seconds here to do some Googling on the fly, and I will give my thoughts on it. But what are your thoughts on it? Who, who's your guy? And chat, what are your thoughts on it as well? Again, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm not going to pre pretend like I know. Like Boxing is the is the the one combat sports that I, that I follow the least amount um so <laughs> i can't give you like a, an honest answer but i want to hear like a real a really answer but i'd love to hear your thoughts on it uh, again shout out to you thank you so much for joining and watching from the uk you're amazing i appreciate you uh ophelia is that how you pronounce your name benjamin usually corrects me on how to pronounce names um i'm upset trump never bought greenland i'm upset, I'm upset canada never bought greenland both the countries just too in debt to buy greenland uh, me either, but I highly recommend that episode. 
do, 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 do. You probably just realized Greenland is just in a lie like Australia and India. <laughs> I think people have Joshua figured out already. I think his days as a boxer are numbered. Well, there you go. There you go. Again, shout out to you. Appreciate you. Hope I pronounced your name correctly. Um, anyways, folks, I'll take this ticker off the bottom of the screen. Um, I'll update it here. Sullivan Colley against Luke Trainer next 205 light heavyweights. I'm just gonna update the ticker here. Um brother just on like the Showtime app right now. And it's not playing Bellator. It's playing, I don't even know. I hope it changes soon here. I might have to do a little refresh. Um, anyways, we'll do an early uh, rundown here as we're five, four minutes away from the top of the hour for when this card is slated to start. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, Mr. Anita. I'm not going to pronounce your last name. I think we should leave out the boxing talk. Boxing's not on the same level as MMA. It's not even on the same level as Muay Thai or kickboxing, which like begs the question of like, why isn't kickboxing and or Muay Thai more popular in North America? Like the, the biggest complaint I get from casual MMA fans are that, you know, when it goes to the ground, they're like, I just, it's not entertaining for me. I didn't, I didn't want to watch a wrestling match. However, a lot of them say the same thing about boxing in that it's just too long. It, they're, they're, they're too one-sided or it's not competitive. Well, Muay Thai and kickboxing, especially one championship in glory, like they force you to be aggressive and all the matches are competitive and three three-minute rounds, five three-minute title fights. Like they're, they're not dragged out fights. Not to say the MMA fights are, but some are, okay? Dare I bring up Rose and Carla? Come on, come on. Uh, shout out to the late Arturo Gatti. If Fury never accepts the Usyk fight, they should make Usyk uh, the lineal champ, dude. Uh, it, it, like again, I'm not again. I'm not super into boxing. Why isn't that fight happening? Like, what's going on? Why are they going back and forth? Like, is this their way of trying to sell the fight? Like, again, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the world of boxing. I don't follow a lot of boxing news. Honestly, most of the boxing news that I see is like if ESPN talks about it on Sports Center or on their website, or if Helwani brings it up, honestly. Other than that, I'm like, hey, I look at Kaposa's schedule, and if I can do one on Thursday, we do boxing on Thursday. Uh, there's too much uh, pausing during the matches. I like the fluidity of MMA, absolutely. Well, again, kickboxing and, and Muay Thai for me, like kickboxing, yeah, there's pausing. I think the, it's only, but it's only a three-second clinch. Muay Thai, it's an eight-second clinch, but let's be honest. Half the time, they're kneeing and elbowing each other anyways, and as soon as they're not doing anything, the ref uh, stops it. Muay Thai and kickboxing for me, unbelievable. What I've heard is that it's not back and forth. Fury's the only one posing resistance. Is he scared? Is he scared of Usyk? He's so much bigger than him. I know that, you know, at the end of the day, and especially in the sweet science, it's like, that's not the end all be all but like man like come on let's get it on here let's get it all oh man all right let's hope this whatever show was playing on that on the app here on the sport or showtime app it just ended oh was it yellow jackets is that what was playing who else has got the showtime app I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, sorry. Talking to myself <laughs> while I'm streaming to all of you guys. Shout out to everyone who's joined us throughout this entire live stream. We will highlight the next two fighters here in just a moment. Appreciate uh, Mike Jones, who's been hooking me up with some super stickers tonight. Shout out to you, Mike Jones. And a big shout out to all the exclusive members here on the channel as well. Keep the comments coming. It's a comment-driven live stream. We will take all your comments here, folks. Three weeks till Garcia versus Tang. Now, I, I'm going to have to stream that one. I'm going to have to stream that one. 
we, we don't stream too many boxing matches on this channel just because again it's, it's the sport that i follow the least amount as far as like the world of combat sports and and you but you might be like well Isha, you do have a few boxing matches those are ones that i honestly like i filled in slots i'm like hey i'm free tonight i can do this and then i filled it up with a boxing match and it's not hard to call a boxing match right yeah i'm not missing the fight yeah again like for me it's like i'm a casual at best boxing fan and i'm even excited for that one All right, top of the hour here. The main card is starting on Showtime. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Bellator 293. I know on paper, this whole card didn't look that great, but what a prelim card, ladies and gentlemen. What a prelim card. You guys know the drill. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We are a totally interactive live stream. So comment away in the live chat. You can see here we have a great community of folks and yeah we love talking about mma and anything else really <laughs> that's going on in the world i know hasbula talk was hot and heavy in the chat um let me know if you've been digging this prelim card let me know if you dug the bfl card that we did yesterday as well and what other fights you're looking forward to this weekend i'm pretty sure lfa is going down like tonight this game bread boxing going down pfl I know I'm missing one. There was some other big event too. Um, I, I missed apparently a huge one championship card this morning, so I got to rewatch that. But anyways, folks, let me know uh, <laughs> how excited you are and what your favorite cards are this weekend in place of the UFC. It's crazy that like this is where all the promotion, this is when I should say all the promotions pounce. They're like, okay, no UFC this weekend. Let's freaking go. Boom. And it's awesome that ESPN is PFL. Bellator time, baby. Yes, shout out to the Ant-Man channel. You know what? I'm just going to give a shout out to all the exclusive members here. And don't forget, guys, before we end this stream, before we hang up the gloves at the end of the main card, I always give a shout out to every single one of you who comment who commented in the live chat. So just look out for that. That will come. But in the meantime, right now, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to all the exclusive members here on the channel. Da, 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 da. And yes, Bellator uh, broadcast starting right now. The intro video is playing against Showtime Paramount. All right. All of you amazing members, shout out to Professor Chaos who joined on this stream. Thank you so much. Gravedigger Jones, shout out to you. Peak Master, shout out to you. Jay Herbo, Aaron S, M and Wild Talk, Foul One, uh, Jelani, Patrick Beerton, MMA Dad, Short Spotlight, Living with H, the Ant Man Channel, Mr. Grant Gregory, Shane, and Mike Jones. Thank you all so much. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all the extra support that you show this channel. And I appreciate everyone who's just hanging out here today. Locus, uh, Foul One, and or Mike Jones can hook you up in the live chat, brother. Uh, Muay Thai can be popular. In the States, if the right promoter got behind it and didn't cut corners, use full multi reels and explain them, have good production, introduce fighters properly. Well, I mean, one championship now that they're in the USA. I mean, they're, they're only, they haven't even done their first event yet, but if they make waves, it could be something special. And I don't know why Dana White's even bringing up Zufa boxing again. Like, let's go Zufa Muay Thai, baby. The main card starts now. Tang Garcia full fight the same time as Pavlovich Blades. Well, you know what? Maybe Pavlovich Blades gets the boot. Maybe UFC gets the boot for boxing for the first time in, in forever on this channel. When is the Masvidal card? Next weekend. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop it. Jelani is back. No, Eddie, it's not tomorrow. He's fucking with you. And heavyweight main event tonight here, folks. Will it be a dragged out heavyweight fight like we saw on the featured card? Or the, the, the featured fight on the prelim card? Or will it be a slugfest? Barely getting out of the second round? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, 
Uh, Hori's boxing is elite. When he fought in the UFC, he was karate style, very different, crazy evolution. Yoshinori, is that how you say his first name? Yoshinori Hori? You son of a gun. Zufa slap and power slap will be Dana's first and only cross promotion. <laughs> oh, that's not true. You have seen pride at a cross promoting uh, fight. If it, I mean, if you count Chuck and some of the boys being sent to uh, pride to compete in their Grand Prix, then there you go. Damn, these are some big heavyweights. Holy shit. Again, folks, appreciate every single one of you joining us here. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction, but most importantly, interaction with all you folks in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. Keep the comments coming. We're trying to get to 50 likes on this video as well. So like the video, folks. Last time we did a Bellator stream, we got well over 50 likes on the video. So let's do that. And again, a big shout out to MMA Joey, who last night was streaming like as late as we were. And uh, before he hung up the gloves on his stream, he just like looked to see if there's any MMA streams going on. So he's like, I wonder if there's anybody else streaming at this time. And he saw that we were streaming. He was like, what is BFL? What is BFL? And he sent some of his uh, viewers over here last night. So shout out to you, MMA Joey. Thank you so much for that. Second bet of the night, trainer plus 205, one unit. Let Yes, let's highlight these next two fighters here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually going to turn the volume up a little bit here. All right, here. We have to start off the main card here. And this is no chintzy ass four or three fight card. This is a, well, it was a five fight card, but it's better than what we've seen lately for Bellator. Sullivan Colley versus Luke Trainer. Sullivan Cauley, five and oh in his promo May career. He is minus two. He's the minus two twenty favorite. He's twenty six years of age, out of Mesa, Arizona. Holy shit! Six three is Cauley. That he, both these guys are in six six is his opponent. My goodness, five and oh in Bellator, and he has never gone to a decision. He's finished every single one of his fights via ground and pound or TKO, and he was four and two on the amateur scene. Uh, his opponent, the slight underdog, Luke Trainer, the gent, Luke Trainer, out of England. He's twenty seven years old. And like I said, 6'6", 81 inches of reach. He's huge, 6-1 and one in his pro MMA career, 3-1 and one in Bellator. Uh, he was on a crazy win streak before suffering his first loss to Simon uh, Biong. Simon Biong, 7-2. and two. He was 5-0 and oh at the time. A unanimous decision back in uh, mid-2022. He got back on the win, winning saddle, though, and got a win via rear naked choke in the first round to Lucas Alcina. Lucas Alcina was 11-3. and three. He was 5-1. and one. Before then, was on a win streak. One, two, three, four, five fight win streak before suffering his first loss. He is the underdog from England. I'm going with the underdog, Luke Trainer. That is my pick. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. I will put the, the round number on the bottom of the screen here. Both these fighters are being announced in the cage as we speak. Uh, I got Trainer. Oh, the boxing event is tomorrow. They should pull people out of the crowd for slap battles in between fights. Just make them sign a waiver. Still down to be a mod, bro. Be on all. Yeah, no, for sure. I just have to do it through YouTube, and I don't have a YouTube tab up right now. <laughs> uh, Sorry, so my bad. So I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Uh, the Masvidal's boxing is tomorrow. Um, His actual fight is... Next week. <laughs> I fucked it up. I fucked it up, boys. <laughs> I fucked up, boys. All right, here, folks. First fight on the main card. Let's get Round on. one. Let's get it on. All right. Four minutes and 53 seconds on the clock here if you want to sync up, folks. First round here. Light heavyweights. Big boys, too. Cully, the ninth-ranked fighter, up against Trainer. Cully going right for the wrestling as he takes Trainer to the ground. Gets his back here, too, as Trainer goes to the cage to try to get back up to his feet. And he does get back up to his feet. They'll still crouch down, though. Right side up against the cage. <laughs> oh, and Cully now just putting on a wrestling clinic early. Knees to the back. 
just back of the legs and butt, I should say. 14, or sorry, four minutes and 14 seconds on the clock here. Knees to the back. That was strike two, Isha. You get one more chance before I revoke my membership. <laughs> All right. That's not, I mean, there's only, what, two hours left? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Three minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock here. Kali still just knees to the back of the legs. <clears throat> Pardon me, of trainer. He's got the body lock. Kali right. Toes planted. He switches stances now. Wide stances here. Good takedown defense. Going for the ankles now to pull them back is Kali. Still good takedown defense by trainer. Kali going for the ankle there to pull it back. If you could tell that Kali is a seasoned wrestler, but damn, that's good takedown defense by trainer as he attacks the neck, neck here. He does get taken down though right at the end of that sequence. Ooh, but threatening with the guillotine. And that's actually, that was in deep there. That right, that right arm, anyways. I don't know what that left arm was doing. Two minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Again, folks, vote in the poll question. If the answer that you want to pick is not there, if you have a different answer, comment in the live chat. And like this video. Let's get this sucker to 50 likes. Knee to the body by Kali. They're back up to their feet, though. Collie on the back of trainer. Collie on the back of trainer. He's getting the rear naked choke. Oh my god! I must be just a few seconds. I must be a little bit behind you guys because it's happening as I. It's happening as we speak. He gets in the rear naked choke. He gets in the rear naked choke. And trainer ah, gets the rear naked choke. Trainer gets the rear naked choke. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Boom. Plus 205. Oh, Cash is with trainer. Oh, hey, wait. You are behind now, Isha. Well, yeah, I switched from YouTube to the Showtime app, and I'm I'm like 15 seconds behind. Both those look like it just came out of the Jersey Shore. Oh, we're all over the place, boys. We're all over the place. There goes his streak, four and six. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I have been calling my time. I have been calling my time. I don't own this place, ladies and gentlemen. I rent from here, so I can't just like drill through, uh, drill through the ceiling and find a shortcut to plug into the actual modem. I got a good setup, though. I have like a good uh, like booster, and I can plug right into that, and it does help. So that's what we're working with. But yeah, whenever I stream something else, it's usually behind. I'm surprised YouTube was so good today. Textbook rear naked choke indeed. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Wow. Coming from behind there after being out wrestled a little bit. That takedown defense was spectacular up against the cage. And that ruins the win streak of Sullivan Cauley. The ranked Sullivan Cauley in the light heavyweight division. Trainers. Talking to the producers here. Oh yeah, any updates on getting a shot clock for the fights? Um, I have to just buy one. I literally have to buy a physical one. So I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, it sucks that I can't like put something up on the screen in the program that I'm using right now. Um, I guess I could drag it. Like a time, I, I still have to tinker around with this, so I'm sorry. It that has been low on my uh priority list, but uh, I'll up it a few notches. My apologies. Thank you so much, Professor Chaos, for the two dollar donation, brother. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Sharon the Wealth, dude, you're amazing. Thank you so, so much. I just watched that South Park episode, by the way. I love South Park, but I haven't like watched every episode like South Park fans. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm starting to watch like all the good ones with my roommate and uh, and his brother. And just I saw that one. Thank you so much. Freaking love butters. Appreciate the two dollar donation. Thank you so yeah, much. Beautiful Thank you so much, Professor Chaos. Man, and the streak of finishes on this card continues, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wow. But yes, average fight fan, just continue to remind me. Continue to remind me, and every time you do, it'll go up and up in my priority list. <laughs> Do they still make new episodes of South Park? Yes, they do. And they just had an awesome episode uh, making fun of um, oh, Prince Henry and Meghan Merkel. Is that her last name? The chick from Suits. Um, and like how they like moved to Canada because they didn't want attention. Um, anyways, it's it's awesome. Luke Trainer, thank you, California. He's saying he was actually scared to, to fight Sully. Oh, this guy's awesome. My lord, this is a blessing. He says, I'm a very happy man. It's been a good minute since I watched that. It's very good. It's very good. Every time I cash a bet on your stream, I will tip. Oh, Professor Chaos, thank you, brother. Thank you. Seldberg is the only show I know that has been good for so long. Crazy consistency. It, for sure. 100%. Suits was a good show. It was. It was. I think I watched like Die Hard. Like every new episode that came out. Like we like had friends who would all come over and watch it. I think up until season four or season five. Oh my God. He's proposing to his wife on Showtime. Atta boy. Atta boy. <laughs> That's why he was talking to the producers. Oh, he literally said, I cannot wait to put babies inside of you. Awkward. Oh my God. Imagine if she said no. Okay, she said yes. She said yes. Dude, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Could you imagine? She was like, not here, dude. Okay, she, she looks genuinely happy there. Oh, atta boy, dude. ESPN's going to write articles about this. Every sports outlet's going to write articles about this. I'm going to clip this. Atta boy. Atta boy. Now everyone's going to be like, oh, the guy who got married on Bell or who got engaged on Bellator. Oh, yeah. But like right off the bat, the show is pretty, pretty much like that. Yeah, Kenny, yeah, I fucked that up. Um, no, the shtick kind of for a while he's like dead for a good like stretch. Damn, son. I mean, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Absolute warriors. And that fight was done. Like that. Like that. Pretty face killer. Will do, brother, but no worries. I'm uh cooking, so I didn't pay attention to your time announcement. I can't wait to put babies in you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I got to go on Twitter quickly and see, like, what the fuck is going on. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. I'm just looking on Twitter right now. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I gotta tweet this shit. This is hilarious. <laughs> what he said, did he say I want to put babies in you and I want to make babies with you? I can't wait to put babies in you. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm just tweeting this. <laughs> Keep the comments coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, it's so MMA. Oh my goodness! 
I gotta put the ring emoji. All right, next uh, fight here. It's rolling right along, so we'll get here in just a sec. Oh, two undefeated lightweight prospects going at it next year. Can't wait for this one. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait to put my babies in you. That's hilarious. What a guy. Okay, I got to update the, the ticker in the screen, folks, and get caught up in your comments. Give me a sec. We're going into work mode here. All right. Do, 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 do. Let me get the ticker. Both of them making their walkouts now. Archie uh, Colgan against Justin Monti, uh, Montilavo. Or Montalvo, my apologies. Montalvo by KO. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I'll get back to all the comments here in just a sec, folks. <laughs> Dude, that guy stole the show. That guy stole the fucking show. All the the next all the fights could could all be knockouts, and he'd still sell the show. Uh, two undefeated fighters with us should be a good one. Let's take a look at them here. Oh, McCarthy's just not good on the mic. Stealing Leon Edwards' fucking call out there. Or celebration speech there. Anyways, okay, Archie uh, Colgan, the king. Six and oh in his pro MMA career. He is from Colorado. He's the minus 280 favorite, 27 years of age. Six fight win streak. Like I said, he's six and oh. Um, but four KO, TKO. One submission, one decision. Three and zero in Bellator. Two and zero in LFA. So again, undefeated. Three wins on the amateur scene. And he hasn't been crushing, you know, Kansas entire come up. He's been fighting guys with you know similar records to him. He fought a four and one guy in his fourth fight in Eagle FC. But other than LFA and Bellator, he's fought. Uh, an eagle and he's won in that as well so a good come up he's only 27 years old years old archie colgan the favorite uh the underdog who just entered the cage uh justin montalvo kid marvelous five and oh in his promo make career he is the plus 220 underdog he's 26 years old Two and zero oh in Bellator. He is on a two fight win streak in Bellator. Before then, he fought in Ring of Combat, Triton fight, and Flex fights. So not as much experience as his opponent. As his opponent, who's fought in better feeder leagues, he did go four and two on the regional scene. He fought a ten and seven and a three and two guy in Bellator as well. Um, I'm gonna have to go for the favorite on this one, folks. Locking it in. Both undefeated, so this should be a fun one. Let me know your predictions in the live chat as well, folks, as we get ready for the second fight on the main card. Oops, I'll wait till it's ready to go here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Dang, bro, meet Saleya. Dude, slang and dick. Not only was that a uh, rear naked choke finish, there's also love in the cage circle. I thought I only going to see that in Dragon Ball. <laughs> Montalvo by KO. Third and last bet of the night. Uh, half unit, Justin Monta Montalvo. I don't know why it's so hard to say that name. Uh, plus 285. Let's go. If Montal... Oh my god. Montalvo avoids being KO'd. He should destroy uh, Colgan's body. Apparently, Pearl Gonzalez wore only fruit roll-ups to the Game Red Boxing Press conference. Yes, yes, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, he stole the show unless a guy brings his wife into the cage and announces that he wants a divorce. <laughs> 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 and with that, that is in the running for comment of the night, my man. Leon versus Colby's targeted 291 in London. God damn it. I don't want Colby to get that. I want it to be Bilal.
because I want Colby to fight Hamzat. <laughs> Selfishly. All right, four minutes and 35 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up to my stream. My showtime. I've, re I've refreshed it so many times. It's This is where it's at. Double left jab by Montalvo. Four minutes and 15 seconds. Dude, I'm fine with that too. Give the title shot to the winner of fucking Burns and Masvidal then. Dude, I, I, look, and I'm not even a Colby hater. He's a good fighter, but I'm just like, I'm sorry. Like, you sit out that long. You got to get at least one win. At least one win. That's it. That's it. Like, Cejudo getting his title shot right off the bat, too, is fucking kind of bullshit, too. Montalvo firing back here, and Colgan with a nice right uppercut, and that seemed to hurt Montalvo. This is a... Oh, the pace. Montalvo's on skates. Colgan throwing so many uppercuts there, but were they as hard as I first thought? I don't think so. It looks like Montalvo's actually okay. I thought like his head went back there, but I think he was just moving. Yeah, because he's moving forward now with hooks. He's fine. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in this first round. You can see Montalvo taller, lankier than Colgan, but Colgan looks like he's got some power in those mitts, and he just wants to land with that uppercut. We're swinging hooks there by Montalvo. Going for the takedown now is Colgan, and he gets it. Back up to his feet is Montalvo. Body lock still by Colgan. I mean, I'd rather, I don't want, I don't think he like deserves it even if he gets a win over Burns, but it, it would be a better storyline. I'd be more hyped about it. And it might even be more of an exciting fight. If they just stood there and bang. I think I posted a video about this on City Life, like on the channel. I think it should be Hamzat or Bilal. I think they're the most deserving given their win streaks and their activity. Well, I guess Hamzat not recently, but it's not his fault. People have been denying him fights, so I'll give him benefit of the doubt. Oh, and a nice right hook by Montalvo. Two minutes and 19 seconds left. Good hooks there by Montalvo's. They're on their feet swinging again. So I think, assuming Hamzat's still a 170 pounder, I think Bilal and him are the most deserving. Oh, and a nice right hand lands on Montalvo by Colgan. And then it's like, sure, whoever gets in the next win between Burns, Shavkat, Jorge, and Colby, they're all kind of that, that, at that same level. At least somewhat, Cejudo somewhat deserves a touch. Like, yeah, like, fine. But, like, I just don't like guys with that, that big of a layoff coming, coming in for a touch. Like, I was honestly, because it was Michael Bisping, I was like, oh, yeah, GSP is going to get another belt. But, like, at the same time, I was kind of like, man. Give him two fights. Oh, and a left counter left. Colgan just tagged Montalvo. Montalvo on skates. Montalvo's on the ground here. Hammer fist. Montalvo's on his back. Desperately trying to pull guard. Colgan, he is emptying the gas tank. He's going for it. And that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Colgan wins this one. TKO. Colgan wins this one. Colgan wins this one. And he's fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Another TKO in his Bellator 293 card. This is insane, folks. This is insane. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. What Dana said was that Colby accepted multiple fights. The other parties just turned them down. I don't think that is true. Just based on the fact that like Colby was trying to get money from Masvidal. You can't fight. If you're, oh, a beautiful right hand. You can't fight if you're claiming some sort of damage, right? Early stoppage. It was a little bit of an early stoppage, but the guy was fucking, he was going to, he was going to be done. What's up, Andrew? This is a good fight. Both guys are skilled. Two good prospects. Four and six for Gravedigger Jones. Professor Chaos, sorry you didn't win that one, buddy. Minus one unit here. Gone in Mets. Boo. He was stunned again, so you know what? It's not. It wasn't the worst stoppage, but it could have gone a little longer. It could have gone a little longer. We're just used to the old school UFC, brother. You got Chandler versus McGregor. Oh, I don't fucking know, dude. Chandler disappoints me in every single one of his fights. 
And who the fuck knows with McGregor? Probably uh, McGregor. I want to say McGregor. It's good to see you, Andrew. Yes, indeed. I'm going to him, and he did. A little early, a little early. Damn, another stoppage, man. Another finish. What a card, man. What a card. And things just keep on rolling. Archie Colgan, TKO, three minutes and 33 seconds of the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I cannot wait. This is the fight that I'm most excited about next. Our boy, Aaron Jeffrey, who he's going to be on the show eventually. We, we've been talking. We talked a little while ago anyways. Um, huge supporter. He has awesome merch, by the way, guys. So go check out his merch as well. The mullet and mustache uh, gimmick out of Ontario. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. McGregor says Andrew. Yes, same here. So cannot wait for this next fight. Uh, didn't get into the UFC twice. Tried twice on Contender Series, but he's found a home in Bellator. Niagara top team, baby. And if he gets a win, he'll probably be more inclined to jump on this channel sooner than if he loses. So let's go, baby. Let's go, Aaron Jeffrey. So Archie Colgan, six of his last seven wins have been by KOTKO. Oh, damn. Some fighting words. Like, I was just, I'm just pumped to put that cry, baby, to bed. Colgan's trying to get into the top 10, and then he said, we'll see what happens after that, but he wants that title shot soon. People's main event next year, folks, especially for us, for us Canadians. All right, ladies and gentlemen, featured fight. Featured fight next year. I'm just tweeting, let's go, Aaron Jeffrey. The only thing that could top that proposal is if Aaron Jeffrey gets a first round knockout, baby, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just tweeting out. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at VA Sports Talk. If you're only on Instagram, I'm not ever on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> but uh, every now and then I check it. At VA Sports Talk underscore. But I'm mostly active on Twitter. Again, at VA Sports Talk. Check it out. Mm mm mm. Uh, oh yes the, the grand prix that bellator does though are awesome i can't wait for the open weight grand prix in uh one championship coming up cheaper than your pizza oh my goodness Okay, back to the comments we go here. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. I didn't know he's a fighter and part of this show. I will pick him. They were awesome, Andrew. They were awesome. So many finishes on this card, guys. So many finishes on this card. Here, let me refresh it. Um, blah, 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 blah. So only out of... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Out of twelve fights so far that we've been watching, guys, only two have gone to decision. Three were KOTKO, the rest were submission. That's amazing. That's amazing. 
So Aaron Jeffrey, the seventh ranked middleweight. Awesome Vanderford, right above him, which he shouldn't be since he knocked him out. Rasta, Tokov, John Slater, who's three, Fabian Edwards. Then I missed who was number one there. Let's go, Aaron Jeffrey. Go, Salter. Get, get out of here, Thomas. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thomas is going for Salter. Salter. How do we say his name? Salter. Lock it in, Gabriel. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going for the Canadian here. I'm going for Aaron Jeffrey. Let's go. Huge supporters of him here on this channel. Huge supporters for Aaron Jeffrey here on this channel. And hey, if he comes out, if he comes out injury free with a solid win, you'll probably uh <laughs> you'll probably let me interview him for the channel sooner. So let's go. Aaron Jeffrey. Uh, it's, in, it's gonna be in the summer, Andrew. Uh only one live bet tonight. Too many finishes, boring cards tend to be more lucrative live. I hope Pat uh Patchy Mix wins the tournament and Musasi is fighting Leon Edwards' brother. Dude, Leon Edwards' brother is not the most exciting fighter. Let's be perfectly honest. Musasi still got a little bit of fight left in him. It, that'll be a good one. I hope Musasi takes it. Void mate. Luke Trainer was such a good underdog. Cash it. Void mate. I'm glad you made some money and it's good to see you, brother. Jelani with the Canadian flags. Let's go. Gabriel Thomas locking in submission win for Salter. There it is. Aaron Jeffrey making his walkout, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, baby. <laughs> the mullet and the mustache. Again, go support his merch as well. I'll link the description or I'll link uh, the, his merch store in the description. That's what I'm trying to say here. Aaron Jeffrey, mullet, stash in the blue corner. What is this? The card of Tom Selleck's stashes? What is this? Luke, the baby maker trainer. After this match and the other one, I am out. It's good to see you, Andrew. Guys, don't forget to like this video. We're trying to get to 50 likes on this video. So yeah, Jeffrey, good stand-up guy. Good wrestling defense. And it's pretty good at jiu-jitsu as well. But Gabriel thinks he's going to get subbed. Tom Selleck mustache competition. Oh, the, he's getting into the music here. Let's go. Dude, Aaron Jeffrey's such a beauty, guys. Like, absolute beauty. Let's quickly highlight them here. You guys already know who I'm picking, and I'm very biased in this fight. I'm not biased in a lot of fights, but you're definitely here who I'm rooting for in this one. John Salter, 18 and 6 in his promo make career. He is the plus 300 underdog, 38 years old, out of uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. He is 3 and 2 in his last five fights, but he is on a two fight losing streak. He's a former UFC fighter, seven KOTKO wins. Uh, 10 by submission, one decision. He's eight and three in Bellator, one and two in the UFC, one and oh in strike force. He's currently on a losing streak because he lost to Johnny Eblen. The Bellator 276 unanimous decision. Um, he's lost two grappling matches as well. And before that, he lost to Gegard Mousasi via ground and pound in the third round back in 2021. Before then, he was on a three fight losing streak and his only other loss. Uh, was to Rafael Lovato Jr. via rear naked choke. Before that, I mean, between 2013 and 2018, he was on a two, four, six, seven fight win streak, then went on another three fight win streak, and now on a two fight losing streak, and also lost his last two grappling matches as well, is the Bellator legend, John Salter. Uh, his opponent out of Canada, ladies and gentlemen, the minus 400 favor out of Niagara Falls. Ontario, 30 years old, 6'2", 13 and 3, Aaron freaking Jeffrey. Nine wins via KO, TKO, one uh, submission, three decisions, 2-0 in Bellator, 0-2 on Contender Series, 1-0 on LFAs. On a three-fight win streak, he beat Rex Harris in Cage Fury FC. And then in his Bellator debut, he beat Fabio Aguiar, and then Austin Vander Ford in the first round, one minute and 25 seconds into that fight. Before he lost 
uh, to uh, Kyle Bohal- Bohalio. Is that how you say his name? He's, and he's in the UFC now, a good prospect. He lost to him in Contender Series. He was on a four-fight win streak. Combat Zone, Cage Fury, LFA, and SFT. I'm going with the favorite. I'm going with the Canadian. Look at his logo on his uh, on his banner there. That's what you'll get on the merch, folks. Aaron Jeffrey, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. The last three fights, he's got TKOs as well. Let's go, Aaron Jeffrey, locking it in. Like I said, I'm totally being biased on this one. If he wins and he doesn't get too banged up, he's gonna come on this channel, folks. <laughs> he'll be a he'll be one of our uh, next guests on the podcast. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> this fight will break the finish streak for tonight's card. For dinner, we had pasta with mussels and bread and salad and red wine. Damn. <laughs> Gabriel, go uh, Salter. Go Salter. Now, nah, man, Aaron Jeffrey. Oh, Canada. Terre de nos aïeux. Ton front et sens. De fleur en glorieux. Let's get it all. I don't know the English words anymore. They keep changing them. All right, round one. Let's go. Aaron Jeffrey in the blue corner. Salter, the third ranked middleweight fighter in the red corner. Aaron Jeffrey walking him down here. Heavy pressure by the mullet man and a good right uppercut. But nothing really else there as Salter did a good job of circling off that cage. Four minutes and 25 seconds on my clock if you want to sync up. Let's go, Jeffrey. Ooh, and a nice left hand by Jeffrey. Stuns Salter. And Salter going for the takedown, and he gets it. Yeah, Jeffrey cracked Salter, and Salter goes, no, don't want any of that on the feet. I'm going down now for a takedown. It's on showtime, Andrew. Number seven guy is minus 425 against the third-ranked guy, Bellator, just giving the top 10 numbers to everyone. Jeffrey beat the number two or three guy. And I think he went from like 15 to seven. Salter in Jeffrey's half guard, top position. And this will be the fight Salter getting his takedown off Jeffrey's aggression. <laughs> Salter, half unit plus 260. Submission win Salter. Easy money Salter says Gabriel Thomas. Three minutes and 22 seconds on the clock in this first round. Good left hand by Salter in the top position. Three minutes and 10 seconds. First round here, folks. Salter in the half guard of Jeffrey laying down some decent ground and pound. Him with that left hand. Salter, great job of holding Jeffrey down here. Okay, oh, you almost grabbed the cage. Don't grab the cage, Aaron. The crowd's booing because they've just been spoiled tonight. And Salter pulling Jeffrey back down. Jeffrey's still on his back here. Salter still in half guard, pushing Jeffrey's left side up against the cage. And Jeffrey's having trouble getting up early in the fight. It's hard for him now. It's gonna get. It's not gonna get any easier. Come on, Jeffrey. You can do it, brother. Come on, Jeffrey. Salter has great grappling. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely disrespected in the betting odds. This is taking the wind out of my soul. Fight back, Jeffrey. The hype went overboard. Got this. Once Jeffrey's down, he's down for the round. One minute and 46 seconds left, folks. I just want him to win because he's Canadian. And we support him here on the channel. I even got a few things of his merch, actually. I got a couple hoodies. So we root for him here. (laughs) 
One minute and 20 seconds. You can do it, Jeffrey. One minute, 14 seconds. Smothered here by Salter is Aaron Jeffrey in this first round. You have the power of the mullet. Salter keeps pulling Jeffrey's post arm out, keeping him from posting and getting up. And 40 seconds left. Jeffrey almost gets back up to his feet, and he does, but he you can tell he's exhausted now. And right back down. But Jeffrey ends up in top position here. 25 seconds left in this first round in the full guard of Salter. Professor Chaos, a little bit ahead of us here, saying 10-9 Salter. Oh, yeah, have to agree. Have to agree here. Come on, Aaron Jeffrey. Come on. The Maple Leaf mullet. I love it. I love it. Some decent ground and pound by Jeffrey to end the round there, but great first round by Salter. Oh, Gabriel, 100% agree, buddy. 100% agree. These Bellator, these Bellator betting odds are absolutely whack, dude. They're, they're whack. Like Cage Wars has better odds and more accurate odds than than Bellator. So don't get me wrong. Totally understand. <laughs> don't be exhausted. You can do it, said Andrew. Fun way to end the round, indeed. Shout out to everybody tuning in live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Like the video. We're trying to get this video to 50 likes tonight, folks. We did it on the last Bellator stream. I know we can do it on this one. Featured fight here, the Ontario boy from Canada, Aaron Jeffrey, the maple mullet against John Salter. John Salter did a beautiful job employing the wrestling in that first round. Three minutes and 22 seconds of control time. Let's round two. Again, live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction, folks. Keep the comments coming. Next two rounds, the same things will continue. Oh, and a good left hand by Salter. Jeffrey continues to pressure. Right hand by Jeffrey. Jeffrey should just start picking him apart on the outside a little bit. Attacking the legs, but no, he just always wants to get in the brawl. He just always wants to brawl, does Aaron Jeffrey. We appreciate you, Isha. It's fun to watch fights along with you and the rest of our fight community. Amen, brother. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Happy Friday, everyone. The night's not ending, too. We got rising in a few hours, folks. We got rising in a few hours. Salter going for that left single leg of Aaron Jeffrey. Now moving to double leg. Jeffrey cannot get taken down. He cannot get taken down. Come on, Aaron. Cheers. Three minutes and 47 seconds on the clock right now for me, folks. Salter trying to pull the legs, the pull the knees out of Aaron Jeffrey. Aaron Jeffrey doing a... Oh, Doing a good job of takedown defense. Right when I say that, he gets taken to the ground, but right back up to his feet. Ronnie Palma, let's go, Salter. <laughs> What's up, Ronnie Palma? Thank you so much for joining. They're back up to their feet now. Clinching here. Couple inside knees by Jeffrey. Those ain't gonna do anything. Uh, it starts at two a.m. Eastern. Happy Friday, indeed. Had the day off work for a holiday. Now a full night of fights, and Salter takes Jeffrey to the ground again. Right into that modified half guard where he can posture up. Jeffrey's head is up against the cage. Two minutes and 40 seconds. This ain't looking good for Aaron Jeffrey. Easy win, Salter. 
Uh, Jessica, yes, it's two minutes and 28 seconds in the second round. Thank you so much for joining, Jessica. Two minutes and 22 seconds, Salter, in the half guard of Aaron Jeffrey. Been that modified half guard where he can posture up with relative ease. He's trying to throw some left shots there. Push him down and headbutt. You can't headbutt, unfortunately, but... But yes, I, I feel the passion there. Ooh, knees to the body now. Ooh, Salter employing that left knee to the body of Jeffrey. That's got to hurt. One minute and 50 seconds. Like and subscribe, folks. Let's get this video to 50 likes. One minute and 43 seconds left in this second round. Aaron Jeffrey on his back again. Salter was employing some nasty knees there. One minute and 25 seconds. Aaron Jeffrey trying to scoot on his back, but just can't even posture up at all. I'm telling you, buddy. I'm telling you. One minute and eight seconds. Getting the back of Aaron Jeffrey now is Salter. And he has one hook and he has his left hook and Aaron Jeffrey on his right side. 55 seconds. Forty-five seconds. So only has the left hook in Dos Salter Jeffrey laying on his side. Thirty-five seconds. <gasps> Jeffrey needs to finish. It's true. It's true. Salter's beating him on the ground. I'm so sad, folks. I'm so sad. This was my main event. This is my main event. At least he's not taking too much damage. 15 seconds left. In this second round. Salter still technically in half guard. I mean, he's not in half guard. He has got one hook in the top position on the side. But if Jeffrey would roll on his back, he would roll into half guard. And that is it for the second round. Uh, thank you, Salter, for the 100 bucks. Belter holding the cage style. Scott Cro uh, Coker must be proud of Salter. <laughs> oh, listen to this. You can't keep your hips square on him. That's some Southern Ontario shit right there, bro. Aaron Jeffrey knows he's down. He's got to get the... He's got to get the knockout here. He's got to get a finish. And Salter, I mean, he knows the game plan. Oh, shit, folks. My lights are just flickering. There's a storm outside, so if the stream ends, it's because... It's because there's no internet. <laughs> it's because there's no power. No kidding, Chaos. He must land a finish to win this bout. No, Slater's fighting a good fight, Andrew. Slater's like 38 years old, too. Good journeyman. Up against a young... Division riser, I guess you could say, and Aaron Jeffrey. Round three, ladies and gentlemen, they Let's touch gloves here. Aaron Jeffrey riding a three fight win streak. He can't, bro I mean, I guess now you kind of have to, but he should have picked his opponent apart at rage just or at range a little bit more and go over the takedown again as Salter. Yeah, the winds are crazy here in Illinois. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Backpack. We had a tornado warning earlier. My goodness. Jeffrey needs, needs to dig deep. Uh, I get that he's playing a good slayer. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here for me. And Slater pulling Jeffrey down and getting on his back. Yeah, as the chat said, backpack here. Body triangle. Jeffrey carrying Slater like a backpack here. Four minutes. Oh, you guys are ahead of me here. You guys are ahead of me here. Gravedigger saying you got him in a triangle. Third round. Let's make Jeffrey sleep on Mother Earth. 
Who's winning? Oh, Ronnie Poma, your boy uh, Salter is winning. Your boy Salter is winning two rounds. Right now he's on Aaron Jeffries' back. Three minutes and 38 seconds left in the third. Looking for that rear naked choke here. Jeffrey concerned about the body triangle. Jeffrey is on his feet here. Chips time, says Andrew. Three minutes and 19 seconds left in this third and final round, folks. Salter on Jeffrey's back here. Jeffrey needs a miracle to get out of this. To get out of this fight and to win this fight, folks. Come on, Jeffrey. Come on for Canada. For Canada. Let's go. Two minutes and 58 seconds left in this third and final round. Break the hold, Jeff. Everyone is booing again. Don't let him bully us, son. Come on, Aaron. Yeah, the crowd has been spoiled with some banger fights. That's why they're just like, yeah, screw this. Hey, but good game plan by Salter. Didn't want to stand and bang. I mean, Jeffrey even cracked him with what was the left in the first round. The left hand. Two minutes and 29 seconds here. Beautiful grappling here by Salter. 38 years old, man. This guy's got cardio for days. The legs on Salter are purple. Those legs will be dead if he lets go. Come on, Aaron. Two minutes and five seconds left on the clock in this third and final round, folks. Again, shout out to everyone tuning in live here. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already. Comment as well if your answer isn't listed there. Salter, Salter, Salter for Gabriel's bets. Look, I always do want my picks to come through, but I'm always happy when people in the chat make some money. One minute and 40 seconds left here. Salter not doing much on the back. Did he get that arm under yet? No, but... Oh, oh, that right arm. No, it's still not under Aaron Jeffrey doing a good job of fighting it. Backpack emoji. Is this the longest backpack ever? Damien Maya on Jorge? Jeff, 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 Aaron, 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 Aaron. Stand and bang. Jeffrey will win. Salter is OG. One minute left in this third and final round. Fifty seconds left. Aaron Jeffrey just trying to like look like maybe he's trying to spin him off. Aldo Yang is the longest back. Yan is the longest backpack. I figured this fight would go the distance. Yes, forget about Aljo Yan. That is a good one. 30 seconds left. God damn. Grappler exposed. <laughs> Aaron Jeffries. Game there a little bit, folks. Didn't submit him, but my goodness, controlled this fight. The crowd seems entertained. Yeah, final 10 seconds. Aljo's nickname should be Backpack. And there we go. That was it for the fight. That was a great call by the commentary. The offense of Aaron Jeffrey was muted. You can see that he's just... He knows he lost that fight. He knows he lost that fight. It's all over. Oh, and Aljo's going to do it to Henry too. Hey, I I love Aaron Jeffrey. I love the Canadian. Aaron Jeffrey, we still love you, buddy. Can't wait to talk to you. Can't wait to promote all the good stuff you're doing, brother. It was a tough fight. It was a tough fight. You'll come back strong next time, brother. You'll come back strong. No, damn. I watched Gladiator for the first time a week ago. It was so underwhelming. Yeah, but at the time when it came out, it was like, it was, it was pretty spectacular. I know he lost that fight. Yep. No, shout out to, to Salter. 38 years old, putting on a grappling clinic like that. That's amazing. His wife saying too, I'm so proud of you. You're fucking right, buddy. 
Oh, he's a big fisherman, eh? Easy win, Salter. I told you, Gabriel. Glad you won. Glad you won some money, brother. Look, I had to pick my boy, the Canadian. I had to pick Aaron Jeffrey. I mean, he's coming on the podcast eventually. I, can't, I couldn't just not pick him. <laughs> Tough as a stone. Damn, Salter's got himself a baddie. Salter win. <laughs> I'll give him all the credit. Absolutely. All right, official announcement coming up here. Oh, Chris Lieben's the judge. 30-27 unanimous decision. Salter. Hey, shut up, crowd. Stop booing him. Stop booing him. Was it Aliquenta? I worked my fucking ass off. <laughs> I worked my fucking ass off. Five and seven for Grave Digger Jones. Hey, Grave Digger Jones, you still have two more fights to break even, and we got all of Ryzen, baby. Yeah, man. Chris friggin' Lieben. Popcorn instead. Salter, look, he might retire here and the crowd's booing him. And he's saying, look, I know it was boring, but if you felt the power of Aaron Jeffrey, you got to fight a boring fight. Just listen in, in, uh, to this interview here. Oh, he's retiring. What a shit crowd. What a shit crowd. They're fucking booing him. His wife's like hugging him. This would have been such a good moment if the crowd wasn't booing his ass. Okay, there's some cheers now. Jeez, what a god-awful crowd, man. So John Salter retires and the crowd boos him. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm tweeting this. Terrible and spoiled crowd. Booing John Salter. <laughs> While he retires. After a win. God damn. All right, I'll get back to your comments here in a sec. Keep the comments coming, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, it's a comment-driven live stream. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> You're like Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, but the broadcast on Bellator, I mean, even one championship, they might have some crazy characters, but at least Richie Franklin brings it right back down to earth, man. Yeah, everyone on Twitter is also being like, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. Uh, the people in the crowd who are cheering are cheering that they don't have to see another boring Salter fight. Well, he made... Uh, his grandiose finish with the crowd. He made it through Aaron Jeffrey. Isha, my clone recommendation to you is Halloween Man X. My clone of the day was Azaro Visit. I'm actually going to bookmark that. Halloween Man X. Oh. Oh. Damn. This, actually, this is actually pretty cheap. I mean, not uh, affordable is what I meant to say. Okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. Professor Chaos. 
Dude, thank you so much. My boy lost. Aaron Jeffrey lost. You won some units. Half unit on Salter plus 260 live cash, and you're sending me $2.20. Thank you so much, brother. Hey, that shit thank you so much. Seriously, you and Mike, I mean, you guys and our exclusive, and you becoming an exclusive member, every little thing helps so much on the channel. Like, man, I, 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 I say every time, and I remind you guys, I'm going to say it to you every time. Thank you so much. I'm always so grateful whenever you guys donate. It doesn't matter if it's a dollar super sticker or a new membership or anything. Like, every little bit helps, and I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much, Professor Chaos, for not only donating a couple or a few bucks here tonight via donations, but also becoming an exclusive member on the channel. Uh, Diego needs to retire. Um, and the crowd is booing. Is boring him with some people cheering him at the end. Uh, next fight, Leah McCourt. J Rock, what's going on? J Rock, did Sullivan fight yet? Please tell me if Sullivan Cali fought. I went to high school with him. Where can I watch for free? Well, we're watching on Showtime. I'm sure someone can hook you up, J Rock. But uh, Sullivan Cali. Do, 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 do. Yes, he did fight. He did fight. He lost, though, brother. He lost, though, unfortunately. Was that one on the prelims? Do, 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 do. No, that one was on the main card. Yeah, no, Luke Trainer defeated him. Rear naked choke in the second. No, in the first round. Three minutes into the first round. But, hey, he actually, he looked pretty good in the beginning. He looked pretty good in the beginning, pressuring with the takedowns, and he was, like, forcing a lot. He was a super strong cap, but, yeah. The other guy had a good good game plan, and halfway through the first round was able to grab his back and choke him out. J-Rock, I feel the pain, though. Our boy Aaron Jeffrey, he just, he just lost. He just got dominated, brother. He just got dominated. Uh, thanks for the info, though, my man. No problem, J-Rock. Thank you. I love the profile picture, by the way. Cha-ching. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by. I appreciate the comments, and I hope to see you on more streams, buddy. Damn, he was 5-0. and oh. Dude, yeah, there was a lot of uh, perfect record guys on uh, on this card. Coughing a pipe, says Andrew. Uh, yes, Halloween Manix is cheap and good. I bookmarked it. I saved. I saved it. Next time at the, I'm at the mall, I'm going to pick some up because I don't have any good cologne right now anymore. All right, co-main event of the evening here, folks. We already got prediction by Ronnie locking it in. We already got a prediction from Gabriel locking it in. I'm going to run down the fighters here, then I'll give my prediction as well. Two more fights left on this card. We are in the co-main event of the evening. I'm just going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and then we'll do our little rundown here, folks. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Okay. Come in the end of the evening. Cats and Ganu, Liam McCourt. Cats and Ganu, forty years of age, minus three ten favorite. Out of Broomfield, Colorado. She is 13 and 4, and she's also on a three fight win streak. Five wins via KO TKO, four submission, four decisions. She was three and four in the UFC, three and oh in Bellator, one and oh in Invicta. Upon leaving the UFC in 2018, she has gone on a three fight win streak in Bellator. However, hasn't been super active. Fought once in 2020, fought once in 2021 and fought once halfway through 2022 where she beat Pam Sorensen. And we saw how Pam Sorensen looked earlier tonight. Okay, that, enough said, enough said. Um, she is the favorite, though, Cat Alpha Zinganu. Looking at her opponent, Leah McCourt, the curse out of Northern Ireland. She's 30 years of age, 10 years younger than Kat Zinganu. She's 7-2, and 4-1 and one in her last five fights. Uh, seven and two in her pro May career. One win via.
stoppage. Um, blah, 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 what else? Six and one on the amateur scene as well. I'm going Liam McCourt. I'm going with the underdog here. Locking it in. Let's go, baby. Cat fight. Cat fight. Okay. Well, I mean, we got the Mall of America here. If that's not at the mall, I don't know what why we even have one. Why is it so big if it doesn't have that cologne? I have the website open regardless, so I could probably just order it. Uh, this fight is between 40 versus 30. Come on, McCourt, says Jelani. And shout to you, Gabriel. Shout to you joining us here. Kat Zingano making her walk out here. I'm all right, still coughing, but I'm still good. I'll say 30. Are you all right? I'm all right, Andrew. I'm all right. Andrew, lock it in, McCourt. Again, shout out to you all joining us here. Like the video if you haven't already. We're trying to get this video to 50 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Co-main event of the evening here. All right. I'm going to update this to reflect the round. Oh, yeah. She wants to fight Cyborg. Cyborg's getting up there in age as well. But Cyborg's still the champion at 145 in Bellator. Oh, she hurt her knee in the Pan Swordson fight. Again, Pam Sorensen, you saw her last fight. Enough said. Ooh, bookmarking that one as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Zinganu. AKA bold.org. <laughs> I'm going with the underdog. Plus 250 underdog, Liam McCourt. I imagine Mike Jones has money on Liam McCourt as well. Professor Chaos, I think this fight will trigger the Boo Birds. I hope I'm wrong. Easy win, Liam McCourt. I've got McCourt for this one as well. There's no more Canadians on this card. I don't even need my flag anymore. <sighs> we are rooting for you, Aaron. We are rooting for you. All right. All right. The number one ranked Katsangano against the number four ranked Liam McCourt, ladies and gentlemen. I always got to ride with the cat. All right. Both of them being announced here in the center of the cage. <laughs> Love me some cats, says Eddie Rodriguez. You know, another thing I have, it's not even that I have an issue with Bellator because, like, I don't, and I, and I hate nitpicking, and I don't feel like this is. I just don't like their announcer either, okay? I'm sure he's a great guy, and he does a lot of work for the promotion, but, like, I just, like, it doesn't get me hyped. It doesn't get me hyped. Like, there's some, there's, like, there's some on small promotions on Fight Pass that their announcers get me more hyped. I'm so pissed because of that match. Hasbula, is that you? Cat pissing me off. Such a rich person name. <laughs> I'm going to grab a Coke. I'm going with Cat. Belia is an up and comer, and Cat is getting older and coming off knee. I don't know if she had surgery or not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Coleman of an evening. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Round one. Let's get it all. Kats and Ganu in the red corner. Liam McCourt in the blue. Four minutes and 50 seconds if you want to sync up with my stream. Hell, make it four minutes and 45 seconds. Both of them with some good footwork to start this. Trying to gauge the timing. Now there's really attacked first. Oh, there we go. Zingano went for a left kick and McCourt cracked her with a straight left jab. A nice right by McCourt. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. High kick by Zingano. 
Threat with an overhand right, and Zaganu takes McCourt right to the ground. McCourt gets right back up to her feet, though, up against the cage. Cat loves the takedown off the kick. She's still got some speed with it. Oh, a nice right elbow by Kat Zanganu. McCourt now with the double underhooks. Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. Ooh, nice knee to the body on McCourt by Nganu. Is that Nganu? Zinganu. It's not looking like Nganu's even ever going to be in Bellator. Looks like PFL is coming out on top. I'm still hoping he signs with one and joins their Muay Thai Grand Prix. Three minutes and five seconds left on the clock here in this first round, ladies and gentlemen. Um, McCord doing a good job using her height and leverage, keeping her against the cage. You know, look, McCord looks pretty damn good up against her right now, to be perfectly honest. First chaos, you are so evil, so good. McCord now with the body lock here. And the right leg of Nganu's singled out. Elbow by Zinganu. Knees by McCourt. McCourt's doing a great job of, of controlling Zinganu at Zinganu's game. Let's be perfectly honest. Point seventy five units on McCourt plus one twenty live. That's a good bet. That's a good bet. Right hand by McCord. It ain't pretty, but it landed Zinganu. Pulling down the neck of McCord to go for the clinch. Knee by Zinganu. McCourt's, yeah, the announcer said it perfectly there on the Bellator broadcast, suffocating Zinganu here. One minute and 31 seconds left in this first round. Again, good bet here, folks. Good bet here by Professor Chaos. Another good knee by McCourt. And McCourt beating Zinganu at her own game here. Oh, and McCourt takes Zinganu to the ground. Looks like Zinganu initiated that there, but McCord did a good job of getting on top. And now Zinganu takes the back of McCourt. Beautiful transition there by Zinganu. She gets the back of McCourt here. 51 seconds left in this first round. Forty-one seconds left here. Zinganu looking for that rear naked choke early in this fight. I don't think there's going to be enough time to get it done here. 30 seconds in the first round. And I still think McCourt takes this round. Twenty seconds left. Doesn't fully have the back here. Okay, now she does. Now she does. There's only 12 seconds left here. Oh, McCourt, some bruising under the left eye. So she's wearing some damage here, but I still think she had the better round. McCourt, you got this. Uh, Professor Chaos saying that this is 10 9 McCourt. Uh, Ronnie Poma, I think McCourt's leading so far. We're the first round just ended. Ant Man channel saying cat 10 9. I mean, you there's a lot of damage on McCourt, but I think McCourt smothered Kat Zingani the rest of the fight. Minus 152 from McCourt on the live cat plus 110. Appreciate the updates there, buddy. Oh, I got to make some coffee soon. Rising in a few hours, folks. Again, you guys sure it's 2 a.m. Eastern and not 1 a.m. Eastern? 
Because my Fight TV app says 1 a.m. Eastern. Kaposa also said it was 1 a.m. Eastern. All right, round two coming up here, folks. 10-8, says Andrew. I don't know about that, Andrew, but appreciate the comment. McCourt catches the kick of Katzen's... Katsunganu sweeps the feet and gets in top position. She's got to be careful. She's going for the back take of Katsunganu. McCourt now looking to get the hooks in on the back here. Oh, she's got to be careful. Katsunganu here. She could, she could sweep and get in the top position. And there we go. There's the reversal by Zanganu. Her coaches literally told McCourt not to do that. Oh, and Zingani tried to throw a kick again, getting back up, and McCord goes right into side control. Why would Zingani go for a kick like that? Indeed. His tapology says it's 2 a.m. Eastern. Is it like a pre-show maybe for Ryzen? I don't know. I'll monitor it. I'll monitor it. And we'll plan to go live at 2 a.m. Eastern. She goofed. Yeah, my t fight TV says 10 p.m. and I'm out on the West Coast. Maybe that's the prelims. McCork now going into full mount. Not quite, but she's looking to get into it here. Three minutes and 18 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, I think the main card starts. Okay. Oh, some ground and pound here. Back take and just shots coming down. Right shots now. Left, right, left. McCourt's looking for the rear naked choke. Two minutes and 50 seconds left here. Zinganu did a good job of shaking out one of the hooks. By McCourt. McCourt looking to fully take the back here, but Zinganu gets in top position again. Now side control, no less. Great reversal by Kat Zinganu. Interesting, says Andrew. McCourt keeps making little inexperienced mistakes, giving Cat opportunities. She just keep piecing her up on the feet here. I mean, I get taking advantage of like, you know, you go for a kick there and it's like, well, you slip, I'm going to get on top of you. But like, just go for the ground and pound. Cat's in Ganu now. Making McCourt pay as she's laying down some nasty elbows from the half guard. One minute and 55 seconds left on the clock. And rolling is McCourt. Zingano is the hooks in. Looking maybe to take her back. 0.75 units. Zingano basically cashing out my bet. Plus 100. One minute and 28 seconds left in this second round. Nice elbow by Zingano. Zinganu singling out the left arm of McCourt, climbing on her back here. McCourt's still trying to spin out of this. And Zinganu gets the, the double hooks in. Not a body triangle yet. And oh, there. It's not super tight here, but Zinganu does have it. Zinganu now 50 seconds looking to soften up McCourt long enough to get that rear naked. Oh, never mind. She goes into full mount back take. What's up, the creator? Thank you so much for joining. How's it going? Shout out to you. Should have stopped with the ground and pound and focused on maintaining your position as opposed to keep striking when she was losing the position. Well, it almost looked like she wanted to go for like, like she was 
instead of ground and pounding for the sake of like, I'm going to keep this position here and just ground and pound. She was like softening, him up, softening her up to go for the rear naked. 100% agree. It was a huge mistake. Might be 1-1 one, one now, says Average Fight Fan. Yeah, Zinganu, I think, probably took back the second round. That is it for the second round. Yeah, I would say it's 1-1-2. One, one, I would say it's 1-1-2. One, one, Angie's parents are watching tennis. I do like tennis. I do like tennis. Third and final round coming up next year, folks. Doubles. Live lines almost even. This is a clear 1-1. One, one. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the live chat here. If you haven't voted in the poll question yet, if you haven't liked this video yet, please do so. Can't wait to see the Lee Murray documentary, Catching Lightning, coming out um, in a week. Power went out. I hope Kat did enough to win the first round. She won the first, or no, she lost the first round, but won the second round. I mean, the first round was close, but I think, I definitely think McCord did enough. Let's see if we hear a 30 27. We've only had one bad judge so far, so we'll see. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Third and final round. Oh, McCourt just dropped Zingani with the right hand. And right into side control. Goes McCourt. Zinganu rolling here. She's done a good job with her reversals all night. I vote Ryzen all day, baby. Yeah, me too. I fucking love Frank Trigg, dude. I know. It's awesome. McCourt's still in the top position here. Zinganu's looking to reverse, though. Frank Trigg. Calls, or calls a timeout. McCourt punches Ngani in the back of the head. Frank Trigg has warned her once before, I think, in the fight, too. So he's very stern in this one. Frank giving Kat some time here and told, uh, told her... If she, her opponent hits her in the back of the head again. He's taking away a point from McCourt. Yeah, it's so funny. Frank was such a dirty fighter. Frank was such a dirty fighter. It's so awesome seeing him as an official here. And he took away the position here as they're back. Uh, on their feet. Three minutes and 55 seconds left on the clock, folks. And McCourt right into top position. Sorry, I was watching the Weather Channel. They're, they're an ass ton of tornadoes in the southern region, south or southeast region. Well, I wish you guys all the best. I hope you don't have to deal with any tornadoes. Popcorn is more healthy than chips. It is. Nice hustle to half guard. Silly cat. Getting dropped isn't how you win a fight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. Half guard, McCourt, top position here. Three minutes and fifteen seconds left in this fight. Three minutes and five seconds. Nine of them, says Andrew. Two minutes and 51 seconds. McCourt with some nice left elbows. Three for three in the takedowns for McCourt here in this fight. You can hear Zinganu's corner yelling, stand up. Oh, my lights are flickering, folks. A fair warning. If the power goes out, it's because of the storms that, that have been hitting us. Two 
two minutes and 15 seconds left in this third and final round of the co-main event of the evening, folks. Now we got the heavyweights coming up next. And McCourt right back on the pressure on Zanganu. Looking, oh, there's another mistake by McCourt. She should have just stayed versus pull her back. Pulled her back and now Zanganu is in the full guard of McCourt. And she has 1 minute and 49 seconds to take back this round. I think McCourt, for the most part, was winning this third round. But here we go. This is Zanganu's time to work. Nice shot to the body there by Zinganu. High guard here by McCourt. Yeah, what a grind of a fight. What a, what a display of grappling here in particular. But some good ground and pound too. No complaints. No complaints. One minute and 15 seconds left in this third round. Is Cyborg the champion of this division? If so, McCourt's going to get wrecked bad. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Back on their feet. And McCourt throws a judo throw and somehow gets on the back of Zinganu. Leaking, though, is McCourt right now. She ate some nasty elbows by Zinganu. This fight has been less boring than I initially anticipated. Cyborg kills her. Both of them agreed. Leaking from, I think, the forehead is McCourt. 35 seconds. McCourt has the back of Zinganu. Body triangle is employed. McCourt just leaking like a stuffed pig here in this third and final round. 22 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Lyco. <laughs> And a reversal again by Zinganu. Five seconds left. Oh my God, look at all that blood. Oh my God, look at all that blood. Look at the it is all over. What a fight. Man, great fight, honestly. Honestly. This could have been so much worse for a co main event, but this has been a, this, this was a solid fucking fight. My goodness. Warriors, indeed, they know how to wrestle. They know how to grapple. Well, at least Singanu does. And McCourt, though, she brought the heat. She brought the heat, brother. Roni Poma, it's a close one. It's a close one. Oh, man. Because of that cut at the end, do we give it to Zinganu? It's fucking close, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? I need you guys' help for scoring this one. This one's tough. Fun fight for sure. I have McCourt, but I don't think it's a robbery if Cat wins. Yeah, that third round, Cat definitely did more damage. But she was only in the dominant position for two minutes of that five-minute round. Mike Jones says, I don't have a clue who they will give it to. Or who they give it to. I think your commentary made it way better. <laughs> Thanks? <laughs> don't say that. Well, we're, we're, we're telling you how it is, Roni Poma. Am I wrong or is Golm versus, I don't know his name, a shit main event? You ain't wrong. Takedown win McCourt. Yeah, but damage, bro. That's the one thing is she got cut. She's wearing the damage way more than Zinganu. I do think McCourt won. Oh, that cut's nasty. That cut is nasty. Damage scores in one fight tonight, but not another. I hope Cat wins. The damage on McCourt's face, damn. All right, we're hearing the official decision here, folks. Yeah, look at McCourt's face, man. Yeah, but again, damage is part of criteria. If she wasn't cut, I would say I would say uh, she won for sure. The main event will be fun too. Definitely should have shouldn't be a main event, but it'll be exciting. 
Kadzinganu wins this one. 30-27 on the card. I called it. The cuts are going to play a big part in the decision. That's what I think. I think that I think just I literally think the last one minute and fifty seconds of dominance by Kat Zinganu, I think that won her that third round. Again, I don't agree with it hundred percent. I think McCourt, that's who that's who like my heart. And upon looking at the first three rounds right after fresh, that's who I thought won. But I did say damage, man. Damage. Yeah, I know about that one. But I didn't see round one. Round one was close, but McCourt had way more, was doing way more on the ground. Ronnie Palma is excited. Andrew knows it. She was definitely losing that round. Until that final, uh, again, it was one minute and 50 seconds. 29 20, I thought Kat still won. <laughs> Great comeback. Kat Zingani saying I'm still not used to how strong that, that woman was. McCourt. Great comeback indeed. And she even says, she's like, I think the damage made up for some of the other stuff. Like, she literally just said it. 16, uh, Cliff Edge. Hey, I won some money. Shout out to you, brother. I'm glad you won some money. Oh, Kat's and Ganu calling out Cyborg. She's like, I don't know what Bellator's plan is, but I think this belt's pretty much a vacant belt right now. Title fight. Let's see how that looks like. Let's go, says the 40-year-old Kat Zinganu. Hopefully the main doesn't disappoint, and hopefully the power stays on. Yes to both of those things. Exactly that. My lights are flickering too here. 16 Cliff Edge. It's good to see you, brother. Love the profile picture. All right, let's update the graphic on the screen here. Boom, 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 boom. Heavyweight main event of the evening, folks. Will one fall or will we have a, well, I'll say it, boring heavyweight fight? Because that's the thing with heavyweight fights. They're either one or the other. They're either super exciting and not that quick, or it's it's a slugfest and not in the boxing variety. I should say snooze fest then. But yeah, no, that was a that was a good co main. That was a good co main. Again, for a fight that didn't have a lot of high expectations on it being like super exciting, there was a lot going on. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. All right, here we go. Um, his name is Daniel James. <laughs> Combs a big heavy black boy. <laughs> Cag goes for risky shit and ends up in bad spots. If she goes into the RR fight and didn't do anything high risk, she would have. Or Ronald the Rousey fight and didn't do anything high risk, she wins that. Of course. Who's the main event of the night heavyweight? We'll go. We'll get into them in just a moment. Why does Josh Thompson look like Mark Bashar? It's because he's grown out that poo stash. Wrong name. MB James. My bad, James. What PEDs are you on, Isha? Ain't no way I could keep this energy level up and then jump to Ryzen in a few hours. Caffeine, motherfuckers. Caffeine, that is it. And honestly, I haven't even drank that much coffee today. I have to stop drinking this and start drinking coffee here in a bit. I also slept in today knowing full well. I slept in and then went to work versus woke up and did one championship live streaming at 6.30 a.m. USADA might pay you a visit. <laughs> Let's go, USADA. You saw it can bring me some stuff to stay up later. Give me some of that EPO, baby. Anyone got any Adderall? <laughs> Kidding, YouTube. Don't actually send me Adderall, guys. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right, Marcelo Golm against Daniel James. 
I'm going to take a quick break here. I'm going to grab my water bottle. I left it upstairs. Uh, I'm going to drain the main vein, and we will be back here after this little intro video that Showtime is showing us for the main event of the evening, the heavyweight main event of the evening. When we get back as they're making their walkouts, I will give my predictions. We'll run down the fighters. I'll give my prediction while I'm in this quick, literally two-minute break. Give me your predictions in the live chat, folks. The line moved a lot in the past hour. The line suggests a lot of losers chasing losses. What time still, Alicia? It is 1040. You're the new CEO of EPO. No, this heavyweight fight will be exciting. James goes too hard, too early, looking for the finish. Golem is a heavyweight with decent cardio, power, and aggression. I got you, Isha. Addy, all day for you. <laughs> all right, folks, quick break. On the other side, we are back for the main event of the evening. Bellator 293 live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Two-minute break. We'll be back for the main event. We'll highlight the fighters. I'll give my prediction. While I'm gone, give me your prediction in the live chat. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to vote in the poll question. Back in two minutes. Live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Main event of the evening, Bellator 293. I'm getting choked up here. I just drank way too much water way too quickly. Shout out to that amazing promo that Bellator put on for us here, folks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Am I excited for this main event of the evening? Daniel James, the Chicago native, walking out to the song of the Chicago Bulls. Those championship teams used to walk out to oh my goodness it's hard to get you know the feels from walkouts from bellator folks but i got a little bit of them there i'm sure as hell gonna get a bunch of them when we watch horizon tonight because you know that their walkouts even on the prelims are gonna be absolute fire all right uh what's going on in the chat here what's going on in the chat here heavy money co-main late on golem going by tko in the third round what time do you wake up late today? Like 10 a.m.? <laughs> Quick break. <laughs> It'd be more worried about the heavyweights eating me than winning pee time. <laughs> James talking tough like he's unbeatable at 41 years old. He's 41? 
Oh my goodness. I hope Golem wins. He's 10 years late on the scene. He could get a KO, but fuck this cocky fucker. Are you streaming that? Huh? All right, let's highlight the fighters here, folks. Marcelo Golm, 10 and 3 in his pro MMA career. He's the slight favorite at minus 140. He's on a four fight win streak and he's four and one in his last five fights. Out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. I know who Gravedigger Jones is betting and choosing for this one. 30 years old, weighed in at the limit. Or sorry, uh, weighed in five or seven pounds under the limit. 6'3, 75 inches of reach. Trains an American top team, one and three in the UFC, two and O oh in Bellator. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. One via rear naked choke, one via ground and pound in Bellator. Arm triangle choke in XMMA, TKO in Tora MMA. His win, his only win in the UFC came by rear naked choke. I mean, so the guy has good ground game for a heavyweight as well. He's Brazilian. Let's go, baby. Uh, Daniel, the American Predator, James, 14 and 6. He's plus 110. Four fight win streak. Four wins in his last five fights as well. Chicago, Illinois. Uh, again, came in at the heavyweight limit. 41 years of age. Oh, my goodness. 14, 6, and 1, like I said. Nine wins, KO, TKO. Four wins, submission. One win, decision. Four and two in ACA, two and one in LFA, two and O oh in Bellator. He is currently on, like I said, a four fight win streak, but three of those were in ACA. He came back to Bellator after fighting for them way back. But, anyways, heavyweight matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. 6'6 six, six is Daniel James, 6'3 six, is Golm. 80 inches of reach for Daniel James. I mean, man. That's the thing. We we if Daniel James wins this, we know how it's going to end, ladies and gentlemen. We know how it's going to end. Uh James reminds me of Brett Rogers from Strike Force. Yes, I am going to stream Ryzen. Daniel James for the win, locking it in. James hype B roll got me really not liking this guy. I would normally root for a 41-year-old with his skills. Let's go, Mike Jones. Bellator needs fighters to randomly run in the cage with the steel chairs like in the WWE. <laughs> Benjamin, that's a call the insurance company has to make. So what happened? Oh, yeah, so uh, the Bellator fighter ran into the cage with a steel chair. If I agree, Benjamin, they need to get the chairs. <laughs> yeah, Andrew loves WWE. Don't get him going. Royal Rumble. Oh, isn't uh, Rampage and Bob Sapp fighting in Fight Circus this weekend? Yeah, Brett Rogers won this fucking tall. If UFC did a Royal Rumble, it actually paid 80 bucks for the pay-per-view. Dude, it's crazy that that's how much it wasn't. It is now in the States. When I was in Canada, and again, this is expensive, but it was only like 40 in Canada. If you had Fight Pass. So, you know, add another 15 bucks on there, whatever. Yeah, they are. They're not fighting each other. They're fighting Siamese twin style in an extra large or an XXXS XL t-shirt. They can fit both of them. And they each got one arm. Benjamin, if they do that type of shit in Russia, it's really not that entertaining. I don't think it's Sap versus Rampage. I think it's Sap and Rampage, Siamese twin style. All right, ladies and gentlemen, main event of the evening, final fight, first round there. Golm, James, Bellator 293. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I guess I didn't give my... I think Golem's going to win, locking it in. The number fifth ranked heavyweight up against James, the number seventh ranked heavyweight in Bellator. It is a clown show, hence the name, Fight Circus. Golem is done, says the Ant-Man channel. All right, four minutes and 35 seconds on the clock on my stream, folks. Front kick to the face and Golem will rush, or sorry, James rushes Golem to get in his guard. I don't know what... James is doing here. Golm is a jujitsu guy. Golm is good with the submissions. Maybe James is thinking, okay, you know, I'm just going to out-wrestle this guy. Hit him up with the ground and pound back up to their feet, though. And James has Golm clinched up against the cage. 
WrestleMania is tomorrow. That kick was a huge mistake. Hopefully he has the ability to get back up. And he does. That was a quick disregard my previous comment. <laughs> Foul one. The whole circus fight thing seems hilarious. It's funny that Anthony Smith loves that shit. He was saying on Ariel Hawan, he watches all like the crazy stuff. UFC money in the bank matches. Well, they kind of used to do that back in the day when they brought in like... Oh, who's the boxer they brought in to fight Randy Couture? <laughs> they brought back Hoist Gracie to fight Matt Hughes. Still clinching here. Going, pushing James up against the cage. James is incredible ground and pound, so he's confident on top. Again, most of you guys know more about Bellator than me, so I appreciate all this knowledge. Big boys. I'm starting to agree with all that heavy money coming in late on Golem. I'm heading out nighties to see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining, Andrew. I will see you tomorrow, brother. James Tony, yes. Thank you. Yeah, I got Golem. Golem continue to go to the body with these shots here, right hooks. Spending a lot of energy here now, grappling up against the cage. James Stamina Bar already halfway down, and we're already halfway through this first round. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Night, Andrew. Peace. Two minutes. Oh, and a nice elbow by James. Again, reminder, folks, the first episode of the new MMA podcast that we launched here on the channel, the City Life podcast. First episode dropped today. You can find it audio from wherever you get your podcast from, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. You can also find the video on this channel. We're going to post some clips and segments of the channel or of that uh, interview individually as well. Some other MMA content in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. And you're going golem as well on his way out. One minute and 32 seconds left. The big boys are starting to sweat now. Potence KOs at a sound in the fifth round again. Whitaker cashes in his money in the bank and ground and pounds the exhausted Pereira. Tony Poma likes that. Really want to see James take a nap for about 10 seconds. <laughs> nice right hand by Golem. Fifty-five seconds left on the clock. The size difference is noticeable. Oh yeah, James is a big boy. He's like what ten pounds heavier than him? Almost. Forty seconds left in this first round. Thirty seconds. Oh, you look at right behind. Them right now with the big Brazilian flag. That's Golm's wife. The commentary just pointed that out. She's on her feet here. And James tried to throw a left there. Golm ducked under in the clinch. Nice uppercut by James. A right short uppercut there. 10 seconds left. Oh, and James is unloading. And that is it. For the second round, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch up in your comments in just one second. I'm just going to do a final check on Twitter. Oh, yeah, and there's the wife again of Golm. Corner's talking to these guys now at the end of the first round. Um, okay, back to the comments we go. I just got Twitter up here. Okay. Um. Bum, 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 bum. 
Oh, what's up, City Life Podcast? My podcast, folks, and this is not me this time commenting. Yotes and Stars tied at the halfway mark. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Any Stars or Yotes fans in the chat? Rony Poma, who's winning? I mean, I I don't know, dude. Goal, my guess. It's a pretty even first round. Isha, do you know who Rey Mysterio is? He's a pro wrestler, right? The Nacho Libre type gig going on i don't know i don't know much about him but i just the uh, let's get it all round two folks the uh i have like the picture of what he looks like but i don't know anything about him is he a pro wrestler if gom gets hit clean once it's good night jim kite damn another baddie jds <laughs> i'm committing a sin but i'm hoping james will win this year not going with the brazilian <laughs> odds even on the live lines Damn, this is five rounds. No way James is going to have any gas left at the end of the third. I can't believe he still has any gas left right now. Four minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. There is zero chance that this is Isha. I'm super serial. It's true. It's not me. It's not me. Check out the podcast, folks. The Soda Pod. Link in the description of every single video that we post and on the live stream here. And check out the YouTube channel too, the Soda Pod YouTube channel. I know the Soda Pod can't hit us up with the link, but I'll hit you all up with the link again. Grappling, Golm has James up against the cage. Dude, the Zingani fight was more entertaining so far. Fuck, my other keyboard broke, so now you guys can hear my mechanical keyboard clicking and clacking. Uh, here's my podcast YouTube channel. Find link in the description for where you can find the audio or just look up the soda pod and whatever podcast app you have three minutes and 15 seconds left in this second round folks. And this is a main event. So there's five rounds of this. Are you kidding me? No, this ain't going five. This ain't going five. Gom got round one. Isha isn't actually Isha. I want my money back. <laughs> three minutes left in the second round. I predicted going by TK on the third round. I had no idea this was a five rounder. Yeah, main event. I didn't even bet on this, but I really will be happy if James gets ta- uh, KO'd. Again, link to the podcast YouTube channel. You can find the links to just the audio, or you can look it up wherever you get your podcast from. And Golm gets the takedown here. It almost looked like James just kind of fell to his back here, but Golm did a good job. And you can see James is breathing heavily here. This might end here, says Average Fight Fan. The co was good. Action-packed. Absolutely. Jason Jacob. What's going on, Jason Jacob? I got the over one and a half. Well, you're about to hit it, brother. You're about to hit it, I think. Uh, two minutes and six seconds left in the second round. And this doesn't look like it's... uh. It doesn't look like it's going to end via submission yet here. Golem in half guard here. Doesn't have any room even to employ the the arm triangle yet, but he's okay. Now he's going to look like he's trying to pass into side control. But yeah, one minute and 44 seconds left. Jason Jacob in the second round. Cat fight was way more technical than this sloppy heavyweight mess and he's gassed man james is gassed goal maybe looking to get an arm triangle choke here no he's just content with ground and pound is he gonna set up an arm triangle from mount he might there's only one minute left in the second round good stuff i will hit it nice absolutely jacob thank you so much for joining (laughs) Yeah, Professor Kalos asking, uh, how much did you get for the over one and a half? I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Thanks for the commentary, man. No, thank you for joining, dude. We do fight commentary every weekend on this channel, covering not only Bellator, but all promotions and mixed martial arts and combat sport, whether it's kickboxing, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, and MMA. 
There's no, F- no UFC this weekend, so there's been a ton of great events that we can cover. Nice elbows, right elbows by Golm right now to the, attacking the body of James. Still in that modified half guard side control. Could posture up if he wanted to. Final 15 seconds of the second round. Jason Jacob, 200. He might almost die like Dada. <laughs> Minus 125. And that was in the Bellator cage. Oh, my goodness. Very well played, says Professor Chaos. I'm a full minute ahead of your stream. We'll just like back it up a bit. Back it up a bit. All right. End of the second round here. At least I've been calling the time so you folks know where I am. Couple low kicks. Couple low kicks by Golem, but for the most part, I mean, just grappling. Grappling advantage here. All right, third round of fifth if needed. God, please don't make it go five rounds. This is going to be what the fight is, folks. I'm about a minute ahead of the stream, too, and I can't pause the Sync Super Showtime app. Get those fucking hands going. Need a new sound for decisions. I do. That's a good, that's a good note. I'm bookmarking that. I know I'm getting lazy. I haven't changed up the sounds in a while, but I will soon. Oh, shit. I haven't seen it yet, buddy. I'm a little behind. Uh, oh, shit. Third round, and I think I think off. something's coming. Oh, no. I'm just waiting for it now. I'm just waiting for it now. James unloading here, listening to his coaches. Get those fucking hands going. Okay, I'm not looking at the chat because I know I'm behind and I know what's coming. Boom! 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 Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a combo! What a way to end! What a way to end! Oh my goodness, I told you. Damn, this card delivered. Wow! What a way to start the fight weekend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Yo, even says Gravedigger Jones. Rising next, baby. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That was crazy. Oh, my goodness. That was fucking crazy. Okay, we're looking at the replay here. Just swinging those Big ass arms, dude. Double left jab. So a right hook landed, but that wasn't the one that tagged him. Who's letting Professor Chaos into the chat with general uh, disarray? Wrecked. Okay, what what is the shot? Okay, boom! It's that right uppercut, left hook, and then another left. Good job by Herzog. Go, no, no, don't hit him anymore. Absolutely wrecked. Okay, I got to get out of here soon because I got to get to the ri- prep for the Ryzen stream. But uh, I'll start doing my shout outs here as uh, Bellator announces the winner. Um, if you get if you get any comments in while I'm scrolling up here, don't worry, I'll get to them before we can hang up the skates. But again, shout out to you, Gravedigger Jones. It's actually seven and eight, but damn, what about you <laughs> get Greg Hardy versus James Happen? Dude, Greg Hardy couldn't even get a win in BKFC. He got his ass kicked. Okay, shout out to you, Jelani. Thank you so much. One of our exclusive members. Shout out to Gravedigger Jones. Shout out to Ant Man Channel. All three of you exclusive members. You guys are awesome. Uh, Eddie Rodriguez, The Soda Pod, Ronnie Poma. Shout out to all of you. Professor Chaos, becoming an exclusive member today. Shout out to you, buddy. And thank you so much for the donations as well, Professor Chaos. You're an absolute beauty. Appreciate you. Shout out to Mike Jones and the donations that you sent today as well. Thank you so much, Mike Jones. Absolute beauty. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Um, But I'll give everyone a shout out here, so bear with me here. Uh, Jason Jacob, shout out to you. Benjamin, shout out to you, Benjamin. Uh, Andrew B, shout out to you, Andrew B. Eddie Rodriguez, I think I said you already. Average fight fan. Uh, 16 Cliff Edge, shout out to you. Thanks so much for joining. 
I can't believe the 41 year old scored that. That's hilarious. It was beautiful though. You saw my reaction. It was crazy. And I knew it was happening too because I saw it in the chat. Shout out to the creator. Thank you so much, the creator, for joining. Dun, 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 dun. Gabriel Thomas, appreciate you. J Rock, thank you so much for joining. J Rock, you know what I'm saying? Um, buh, 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 buh. Did JL join tonight? If not, we'll give a shout out to him, anyways. John McCarthy interviewing uh, James in the ring. Void mate, shout out to you, Void mate. Glad you won big tonight, buddy. Um, buh, 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 buh. I don't know. Oh, shout out to Shane. Shane joined us in the chat as well. Shout out to Locust Control. Shout out to Locust Control. Thank you so much. Uh, Orphelia McCulk. Shout out to you, Ophelia. She was joining us from the UK. Da, 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 da. I mispronounced something in the chat because my podcast host is texting me about it. Uh, shout out to you, Evan Wild Talk. Matt, you're an exclusive member too. Shout out to you. Shane, you're an exclusive member too. Shout out to you. Peak Master, one of our exclusive members. Shout out to you as well, buddy. Dun, 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 dun. Who did I miss here? Foul One. I don't know if I gave you a shout. Shout out to you, Foul One. JC, shout out to you, JC. Mm, 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 mm. Mr. Grant Gregory, shout out to you, Mr. Grant. Mr. Grant Gregory, an exclusive member of the channel. He even gave out memberships. So shout out to him. Shout out to Habib. Shout out to Diego. Uh, da, 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 da. Who else? Oh, shout out to Tom, the city of Sunrise. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to Matthew Whit Whitham. Um, ba, ba, ba. Hernan, shout out to you, Hernan. Like I said, Shane. Da, 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 da. Yeah, JL was did join, so shout out to JL. Uh, shout out to Brittany and Brian. Shout out to Lewis03. Oh, he's calling out Ryan Bader, and Ryan Bader is here in the audience. He's like, uh, we'll make a lot of money that night. Um, yeah, that's it for the that's it for the comments and shout shout outs, guys. Ladies, you should have a good night. Ant Man channel, you too, buddy. Uh, me too. What the hell of a card? Popeye Tube. Who won, dude? Daniel James won knockout third round. Crazy fucking knockout in the main event. Love your reaction. Crazy fun card today. See you later. Peace, brother. You're the man. Uh, Popeye Tube. I just said uh, Daniel James won big knockout in the third round. Catch you in a few hours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it for me, folks. Join me on the Ryzen stream in a few hours. We will be streaming it on this channel. Two hours to be exact. Like and subscribe. Appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you on the next stream. Good night. See you on the next one. Ryzen 41 next, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate every single one of you. We'll talk to you on the next stream. We stream every weekend. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Time for some Ryzen. Heading to Japan. We haven't seen them since New Year's, folks. I am so pumped for it. So let's freaking go. Refill your coffee, popcorn. I don't care. We have some Japanese MMA and kickboxing coming up. Ryzen 41. You'll see the video be posted in a few minutes on the channel. And I'll see you folks in a couple hours time on the other side. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you all. And we'll see you on the next streams this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. In the